What's up, guys? We're back in the forever winter. Everybody's here. Uh, let's hear about what happened last time. A lot of it was fighting, uh, so I don't know that, that much detail, but let's get into it. Last week on the forever winter, having dis having discovered the Durgar lair on the outer edge of Kelvin's cairn, our heroes lurked around the outside of the bunker without being noticed. But when Mungo went to take a peek through one of the arrow slits, his goopy body fell through, alerting the guard on duty. Stonegrave couldn't find a door to get in, but Slacks manifested his shadow on the uh, on the inside and quickly swapped places with it. Resolve 2 tried to get in, but couldn't get inside. He tried his best to shoot in through the arrow slits, but it was hard to see in the dark chamber. Mungo Misty stepped from within the arrow slit to the far end of the room, making sure to stand on top of the trap door that seemed to be this Durgar's only exit. Resolve lit a torch, and they kicked that Durgar's ass as well as they could. But the light from the torch gave away their position, and the remaining Durgar in the outpost prepared for battle, sending an ogre zombie to do their dirty work. But the group surrounded the giant and beat him to a pulp, slicing off his head and letting it roll down the hill. The group would then approach the front gates, but the Durgar inside dropped the drawbridge and unleashed a handful of fungus-infected humanoids on the party, their bodies peppered with small mushrooms growing from every orifice and wound. Stonegrave would push through the mushroom daddies and get face to face with one of the Grey Dwarves themselves. The Durgar would try to one-up the Goliath by doubling in size, laughing. But Stonegrave cut his laughter short as she too grew to twice her size and took him on head to head. All the Durgar inside would grow, would grow to twice their size and attempt to hold off our crew, but one by one they were downed. Another Durgar, who had been invisible until now, popped in and did his best to hold off the intruders, screaming threats and insolence. Did they knew, know who he was? He was the son of Zardarok Sunblight, and they would regret the day they fucked around because boy oh boy would they find out. But even Nildar Sunblight wasn't enough to stop the adventurers. He darted towards the back room. Slack slashed at him and missed, but Stonegrave was able to land a halberd attack just as or just as he was about to enter the next room. The Durgar launched his war pick, hoping to shut the door behind him, but instead he was slowed by Stonegrave's attack, and he was impaled by the metal spikes that shot out from the door's base, killing him. Now that the compound was cleared, the group would begin to investigate, starting in the direction Nildar was running. After getting the trap door opened, the group filed into a small bedroom and discovered a couple interesting things on the desk. First was the color-changing lantern from the Northern Light Inn, but second was a pile of dark crystal chunks, the same material that the black swords had crafted their necklaces of, the same stubs substance that Harwar Mar Malthun had found out in the freezing tundra. The third item of note was a letter written to Nildar from his brother Durth. The letter read, Brother, you will find me on the frozen ferry in East Haven. From this new base, the search for Chardolin continues. Long may our father reign over this dark land. Durth. But as soon as Stonegrave had finished translating the document, she had left the room, continuing on to search the premises. Because as I found out, uh, I guess that translator doesn't work. None of you speak Dwarvish except for Stonegrave. Uh, but that was deciphered, and Stonegrave is now investigating to the south. That's where we start. Uh, I guess let's check in with everybody. Oh, actually first. Uh, the loot. You guys can search Nildar. I don't know who took the little tar chartalin pieces, so I put them in the inventory for you to take if you want. Uh, and then everything else from most of the places on Nildar's body. That I can't talk on his body back in this room where you guys are at. Um, so maybe you guys are looking through that, and I'll leave you to it while we'll check in on Stonegrave. Hang on. Hello. Hello. All right, let's just do it. Someone took the lantern. I took it. Why? I was going to get all disco ball-y. Oh, Fine. you want it? I, I'll nope. give it to you. Nope. That was the past. The past Richard wanted it. Sorry. <laughs> past Mungo wanted it. Future Mungo doesn't. All right. So, um, this well, doesn't look like stuff for me. Well, hang on. Did we bring... Oh. We didn't bring a vehicle, did we? Not that I'm aware of. No. There's more shit here than we can carry. I kind of count as a vehicle. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, you're going to have to pick up stuff because I'm pretty damn full already. I think. Let me check. Mm. 
Um, okay. Uh, just to just to clarify something, not to like f pull the rug out from under you, but it's been a few sessions and no one has commented on it. So I think that it's safe to say that Shandar escaped? Or is there something I'm forgetting? Uh, Shandar was tied up in the back of our wagon. Right. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we did a good job tying him, then he's maybe starved to death unless somebody found him and let <laughs> okay. him go. Okay. Okay. I mean, if we got if we haven't been gone for days. Okay, so yeah, he wouldn't be starved to death. He's probably really, really thirsty though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Assuming you guys did a good for job three days. tying him up. What's it? Three, three, three. Is that what it is? What? Three minutes, three hours, three or sorry, three minutes, three days, three weeks. You, it? you need air for three minutes, yeah. water every three days, and food for yeah. three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe for you humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's Shandar? He's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. Oh, he's fine. He's a dwarf. He's, a he's got extra body fat. Yeah. He's hardy. All right. He could probably hibernate or some shit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Well, <laughs> I, okay. Cool. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, good to, to touch base with you guys. Huh? All right. So you guys are looking through the thing. We'll we'll leave you guys where you're at, and we're gonna go with Stonegrave uh, as Stonegrave looks through the rest of the building. Yeah, I'm actually. Uh... I don't know how to pick up stuff from the inventory. I think click I click on that. the little skull icon. Oh well, skull you're icon. not double click in the bedroom there. that we're in. Hang on here, I'll put you. Oh, another yep. Here, I'll take you. Back. Oh, it's okay. okay. Through the walls, for John. Whoa. Is there more stuff? Uh, okay. I think I could carry a couple of shields, and then I might be full. So I click on the skull. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we want to take all this stuff? We do, I think. But take all will can mean you, all you take all of it, which might be good because you don't have that much stuff and you can carry a lot. So, what is this shardling shield? Shard oh, shard. I thought it's a shield. My, uh, my, that's the uh, that's the black um, or the dark crystally stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'll take all of that. I'll just take, yeah, take it all. All right. Um, why not? If you, you know, might as well be the super cow if I'm going to be a super cow. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I have 231 pounds out of 255 that I can carry. So I'm close. You're like an Okja. No, that's a super Feeling pig. so greedy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check out my encumbrance. Let's check out my encumbrance here, real quick. Let's take a look. <laughs> You've like packed everything into every pocket. All right, let's see if I can walk. All right. Three thirty nine of one eight of four eighty. So okay, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Well, and so and I don't think we've addressed this. I've told them like because technically in your encumbrance thing, there's those little slots that dictate you're slowed and now you can't move. We don't go by that. So as long as you don't fill up your full bar, you're good. Cool. Right. Let's uh, walk around and look at stuff. Yeah, we don't have to spend too much time. There's not that much going on here, but all right. All right. So everyone's gonna walk together now. We'll hold hands. Mm -hmm. Use the buddy system. Skip to our loo. Okay. You, go, you start heading directly towards the loo. You make it out of of uh, Nildar's office slash bedroom back through the trap spike doors that you'd pass through into the main open area. Uh, you The areas you've not inspected yet are, I guess, to either side of the doorway. To the nor north or the hey, south. Hey, you coming, Mungo? Oh, goats. Can, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start uh, stringing the goats oh, together yeah. with my 50 feet of rope. Mungo. Hang on. Mungo is here. All right. All right, so hang on. Just Mungo. because this isn't a criticism, but, like, you're not always moving your token. So uh, just a, 
a hint like if you press F on somebody else, your token will just always follow them until you move it manually. So then you don't even have to be following around. Mm. And so if I click on my token and then another person's token while holding F? Click on your token and then just hover over like Resolve and press F and then that should activate it. You won't get a notification or anything, mm. but now when Resolve moves, you should follow him. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the greatest thing I've ever heard of because I fucking hate moving my token around. <laughs> right. Okay. And so technically all of you could make a line. Alright, Resolve. And the first one, yeah, you're just holding his pocket. His pocket is turned inside if out. You, or something uh, like <laughs> if you want Rizal, I will pay you for the service. I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay. I <laughs> have. I do have a lot of gold, just so you know. I'm gonna open a door. I don't have much to buy. All right, let me look at where you're at. Okay. Uh, okay. So Stonegrave went south, just to let everybody know. All right. Yeah, Stonegrave. Okay. Go ahead. Head through that door. See what's going on. You open up the door to the next room over. Uh, this chamber appears to be a cell block lined with stone doors that have small barred windows set into them at dwarf's eye height. All the doors are now open, and you see little mushrooms kind of growing off of the bars. Oh, man, they they infected the prisoners. That's fucked up. Hmm. Snow and wind enter the room through a barred window in the northeast corner that looks out towards the snow-covered bunker that guards the main entrance. Look out the window, make sure that nobody's coming. Okay, just kind of look around. Yeah, it's still, there's still some cool. light in the day. You can see the corpse of the ogre zombie, headless. You don't see anybody else out there? Um, I'll head over here. All right, you head deeper. It's like more cells. Well, these, as yeah. you look, they, these are more, they're not locks on the doors. They're just, they're full actual doors. Uh, the two doors to the north are already open, and you kind of see sleeping chambers in disarray. Gross. I bet there's piss bottles, too, because these guys are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of tankards of piss bottles. They don't have screw yep, on caps, mean, they... so it stinks back here. Ugh. And they mix them up all the time too. Oh gosh. So is there uh, is there anything of it? Is there anything of interest in these two rooms? Oh, well, you're poking around. Those Just... have beds in them as well. Although they're, they, I guess there's no blankets or anything on those beds. Not used recently. Uh, can, you know, give me an investigation check. Okay. That's the last thing I want to do is touch their beds. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. Yeah. Investigation. <laughs> Sorry, I glance over and see this, <laughs> this duck duck goose game being played. Da, 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 da. Hey! Da, 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 Sorry, you da, can't da, see it. All hey. right. Oh, a three. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, unfortunately, you're not really seeing anything. I mean, you see a couple daggers on the floor somewhere. Yeah, this roll. That roll is. Uh, in my other game, we say that um, it's... Uh, I don't know shit about fuck, basically. You, what it is, it's so. absolutely right. Yeah. Completely okay. knowledgeless about I'm gonna, fuck. I'm going to go join the group. All right. No I tied of, all following I, each other. No I tied the goats together. No sign of tall tree, so I'm kind of bummed. Mm, that's true. Yeah, there's uh, all the prisoners were morphed into those mushroom daddies. But the mushroom daddies looked smaller, so I think did any of them seem Goliath sized? Interesting. Um, actually, no. They were all just humanoid, or just re you're a humanoid. All just regular human size, about five to six feet tall. All right. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna join the Congo line. Hold up, guys. Wait up! Wait. To, uh... Let him grab a pocket. Yeah. Let me grab a pocket. Did that work? Hold on. Oh, do I have to be right near him? Uh, well, it won't. You won't notice until right, there it goes. There, <laughs> there go. it goes. All right. Cool. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun. All right. Great. Well, hang on. Let me let me catch up to where you guys are. I don't think there's much you're finding, but uh, all right. So you head through the main area. The door opens to a large, nearly empty room. Snow drifted into the corners. It's just the the room you walk through with the bars that looked outside. You passed through there, down some stairs, 
uh, into this area, it seems to be an armory. Piles of equipment are pushed against the walls of this room. The southern end of the chamber, an open hatch, reveals a route leading underground. This must be the way to that bunker. Mm-hmm. Anything interesting in the armory? Yeah, any, anybody can detect magic, see if there's any magic shit in here. As far as just stuff sitting around, it's a bunch of scale mail sized for dwarves. You got a couple steel shields, a couple, a number of war picks, a number of javelins, a couple climbers kits, and a couple mess kits. I'll cast a uh, detect magic to see if anything pings. Okay. Nothing pings. That lasts for ten minutes, so it might not be a bad idea to kind of mm-hmm. maybe do it once once around. Yeah. All right. Come on, shake your body, baby. Do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Feel the rhythm of the music getting stronger. Don't you fight it till you gotta do that conga beat. Oh my God. Damn. Oh, That's impressive. That's Magic like almost goat. as good as reciting that. Uh, what's this goddamn name? Uh, well, I lost the timing of that joke. Never mind. Okay. I know what song you're thinking about. You're thinking about that. Hey, what's up now? What's up now? Channel line. That's not. I, I would have been so amazed if you just guessed what I was thinking. Of. That's not. But that's a oh. good example. No, it was. A, it's a rap. A bu- the Busta Rhymes rap. Where he's like, sometimes I'm gonna do it, but it's a bit of 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 a you're looking for just pinging magic. Uh, the lantern and and the, probably the shards as well as the necklaces that you got, two of you already have. Nothing right. here, nothing here. You're coming back here. You're trying to ping for magic. You're not getting magic, per se. Uh, Mungo, you, 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 you see some stuff just sticking out from one of the beds, though. Mungo's muted. Just he sees it and keeps it to himself. What's in those little rooms? Uh, beds. 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 The two to oh. the north are are unkempt. Seems like someone was sleeping there. Sweaty. Uh, the, the 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 south ones just don't seem to be inhabited. Mungo, did you hear that you see stuff? Um, I did not. Sorry, I had to step away. Sorry. I'm here. And I will never leave again, except I need to pee in a minute. Um, you see no, some stuff sticking out from under a bed somewhere. Yeah, they're wa- they're wandering around back here, and they're trying to ping for magic, and nothing's really pinging, but out of the corner of your eye, you just, like, look in one of these bedrooms underneath one of the used beds. You kind of see, like, a sack kind of tucked in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, just, just always looking in any kind of, like, bookshelf. Um, yeah, just trying to see, stuff. like... See if I if I find a copy of my book. <laughs> Looking for uh, any other fans out there. Yeah, uh, the equivalent. Of I Googling do want to. Yeah, yeah, just constantly. Yeah. Um, I do want to check uh, under this bed, but uh, well, sorry, no, I don't. I say, uh, um, <clears throat> who's the who's the lithest amongst us? Probably uh, uh, Rizal. Considering everybody else is a fighter, I say, um, Rizal, I, there's I here's not, something I, underneath this, uh, underneath this bed here. Uh, what is it? Whatever the master blaster says. Well, can we see from here? We gotta get closer. Out. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, it's a, it's just a sack. You don't know what's in the sack until you pull it out. Uh, oh, I only touch my own sack. Never anyone else's. All right, I'll go pull out the sack. 
Alright, you go and pull this out. It's got some lady. You hear some coins jingling around at the bottom. There you go. Look at you. <laughs> Money. All this just for letting me hold on to your your pocket. <laughs> you peek into the sack. Inside, you find a number of decorative beads, uh, a, a number of coins, and a small potion bottle. Do potions ping magic? Is it an empty bottle? No, it's full of potions. Not unless they're blocked by a bed. Shit. Yeah, I don't think... Because I, I'm pretty sure to ping detect magic... Has it, to be enchanted or it, some, it, well, in some way? It has to be actively doing something. Okay. I mean, but I don't necessarily draw the line there. I, I've pinged things that were more regular than that, but I don't think a potion... I'll Google it, though. Is it a potion? Is it a bottle that we've, like, recognized? Like, would we recognize, like, oh, there's a healing potion or something like that? The color does look red, similar to a healing potion. It could, it could very well be that. Do you want it? Uh, yeah. I guess, <laughs> and can we just... Automatically just split, split the money, you know, four ways or whatever, right? Sure. If you want to. If yeah. If you don't right. want to, you could say, hey, guys, look, I found this bag with a bottle in it. Nah. I'll take the bottle. But uh, the money we could split. And then the beads. Anyone want some beads? Are they connected by, like, a string? <laughs> uh, sure. I'll, I'll eat hey, them Hey, Mungo. These You'll look eat like them them later. Them. I'll take. I'll take them. I'll eat them later. <laughs> oh, I'll give them over to him. They're like Skittles. That's right. Or one of those necklaces. Just... There was all. What'd you say? Uh, okay. I was trying to give you anal beads, but um, the Goliath took them instead. Well, unfortunately, these days, I can poop from anywhere. The um, we got to rescue these goats. He's probably a little too, probably uh, probably a little too small for. Uh, uh, yeah, you won't feel those. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, you guys are gross. Up. I feel bad for participating. <laughs> Thank you. You should. Yeah. Children watch this. Why My can't students? I... No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> All right. That's the I last I... thing I would ever do. I guess I'm taking one silver. Sweet. Yeah, me too. What? Oh, sorry. I had put... It was going to be easier for me to put all the money in there and then click split between you guys. Uh, so I split most of it, but then the three is just what what wouldn't split between you. So feel free to grab okay. that as you will. All right. Well, you guys have successfully cleared out the area. You've secured it. You know that there's nobody else coming for you. Uh, it's at about, it's about 11.30... In the AM, the sun's still out until four. What do you guys plan on doing? What are your plans? You've got that letter. Uh, you've got other obligations potentially. What do you guys think? Can we get well, this drawbridge up and uh, maybe take a rest here before we head out? Yeah, it's a good idea. Somebody's got to do a, a DC 24 athletics check. Give it a shot. Because that's what Stone Grave Whoever's going to give it a week. shot, whoever's giving it a shot, I'm going to guide in some. You said athletics? Yeah. All right. Can someone yeah. help Mr. Slacks outside of the guidance? Uh, uh sure. yeah. Advantage. I can help him. Yeah. I'm All not going to help. I want to see if you can do it. <laughs> He's like, All right. uh, I shoved that in there. Let's see. If <clears> this is stuff. Yeah. M Mungo will just hang on to him. So. Throw a little, uh, throw a little inspiration on me here. Guidance. I oh, have you're, oh, no, I'm not a fucking bard. Not you. Uh, Rizal. I know. I'm just thinking, like, oh, if I was a bard, there I we could go. help you here. I should be a bard. Mungo dies. It yeah. says it applied to me. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it says Rizal Guidance. I don't know if... Yeah, it's on me. I think there's an icon on me. Yeah, it, okay. It, it cool. means like... Oh. 
And I hold down. I hold down Alt and click Athletics. That should be how it works. Yes. Ooh. But of course, I always say that, and and then it doesn't work. It's not going to be enough. Nope. Oh, that was keep high. Okay, I just didn't see the two dice. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, all right. I'll give you, th I'll give you three. Yeah, I'll try uh, again. But then you lose, you lose an hour. Nope. Third time's the charm. Can I be resting while they're doing this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm just going to go to sleep early. <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right, let's try this again. You can do it. <sighs> uh, nope. Oh. Yeah, you, <laughs> Stonegrave just goes, falls asleep to the grunting, ah. sighing, trying to. Fine, we we'll just leave the fucking thing open. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can keep trying, uh, but you're just gonna keep wasting time. Stonegrave's already got a head start on sleeping. I'm passing out behind Stonegrave. Figure they'll see him first. All right. Her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down here. What are you trying to do? A long rest? I'm just going going down here for a long rest. Yeah. We doing long rest? Oh, if we're doing long rest, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hang out in the middle over here. <laughs> I'll I'll probably I don't know. I'll go curl up with some goats over here. <laughs> long rest is a long time. Do we need a long rest? Uh, I think it's been a while. Uh, yeah. is it? How long did it take us to get here? Uh, I always fucking forget. That's why I'm typing into the chat right now. If we're doing a long rest, then we'll note when it was. It feels like it's still early in the day, but I don't think you slept oh, immediately last night. I think we did a short rest already. Did you? All right, well, Maybe? let's not worry about it. I'll start logging it better starting now. Um, we can do a long rest now. All right. Oh, thank goodness. Are you going to um, activate it? Yeah. I was dying. But it makes me feel like uh, every time. Um, let me, since I have it, I will cast Prayer of Healing, healing before we go to sleep so that... Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and I'll get good berries before we go to sleep as well. Mm, okay. Um, I need everybody to oh, come in this. I can't. Come everybody. to me. I'm here. I'm out of level ones. There we go. Okay. If we're gonna do a long rest, do you need to do a plan of pr prayer of healing since we're all gonna heal anyway? Do we yeah. get the healing for free, or does it still cost? For long rest, I think it's free. It's still, it's full for a long rest. But you use your your hit dice for short rest. You know what? I'm okay, gonna, well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Here we go. All like right, go two. for it. What's level two? I don't think level wish, two. Wish, 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 wish. Uh, it says um, eating know. a bear. It says um. Oh, oh yeah. I was on cure wounds. Never Nineteen. Mind. Uh, I'll just, can I upcast it just to cast them anyways, though? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Don't okay. Know. Mungo is fully healed. As is Stonegrave. <clears throat> I as well. Nice. All right. So hang on before. Forward. Oh wait, I didn't. Uh, I got fully. Oh, you did the prayer healing. Never mind. All right. Well, let's prompt your long rest. Yeah, because I have no unleashing can incarnations left. I have no um, uh, action surge left. So yeah, we should rest. Okay. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a at twenty. 38 of hammer 26. Oh, I said that oh gee, my water, my water skin's empty. Um, you should be able to select yeah, natural resource or something. You should have a block box there that says has access to external re water source and just click yeah. that. Okay, I'll eat some snow. There, there you go. Basically what we do. Oh, 
my lord, all my stuff is back now. Alright, that's pinned. Alright. It's been eight hours. The sun has set. It is about 8.40 in the evening of the 26th. What are you guys doing? Let's, let's uh, get these goats and head back to uh, to the ladies that we got to bring this light back to. All right, let me equip a goat. Equip, <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're just going to drag them by this rope. Okay, you can do that. All right, I guess walk back. <clears throat> walk back. Snowshoes. All right, where are you walking Snowshoes. back to? Uh, what was the name of that place? Uh, Kerr Koenig. Okay, all right. All right, isn't that where the uh, the light goes? That is where the light goes. Yes, yes, yes. And you have a meeting cool. there as well. Yeah, with uh, Jarnathan. With yeah, Jarnathan, huh? that's right. <laughs> that's right. All right, so what's our distance here? You're walking, so it's another eight hours to get there. So yeah, it was a good idea that we took a rest. Yeah, it was. You never know what can happen in a journey out here without any kind of transport vehicles. Oh, guys, uh, since we're going to be walking this long distance, we do tie ourselves to each other. Like, in our belts. Mm. All right. And no, to the one, goats. If, if one falls, we all fall? Exactly. Cool. Can I just, um... Can I just ride on one of the muscly men's back? Muscly persons, excuse me? Ride, ride a freaking goat, man. Okay. Mungo rides a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Mungo tries to ride Slacks first, but Slacks is, suggests he ride a goat. All right, it's eight it's hours to go. Five, it's really it's eight hours to go five miles on foot. Yeah, technically four miles in the tundra. Yeah, it's on foot in the tundra, so that's half. Or uh, yes, the answer is yes. It takes that long, uh, but now you're back at the Ooh. cart, and it goes a lot faster because you got mounts and whatnot. Oh, is uh, is is our dwarven friend still in the cart? Okay. Well, I thought that maybe he should be able to slip away, but let me just give him a sleight of hand and see if he did. Uh oh. Oh, I'm doing this all publicly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what? He's not there anymore. Did he, did he rob us? <laughs> no. He didn't. Oh, god damn it. No, Is there any footprints us. that aren't ours leading away? He can't have taken everything. Even if he did rob us, he, he can only carry so much. Lucky he didn't take the cart. Yeah. If he left recently, we might be able to find, track him. Okay, give me a survival. Or, yeah, give me a survival. All right. So my guidance and then survival. Oh wait, I gotta do it out of this, this thing. Survival. Yeah, and then it's not gonna give you the guidance because of. So that's a seventeen plus a. I mean a twenty-three plus a. Plus Twenty-five one survival. D five. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I guess it hasn't been a blizzard or anything. You do see some tracks heading away, uh, and I guess just up the road towards civilization, towards Kirk Denival and everything else. Is it possible to see if they're fresh or not really? Um, I mean, with your role, I'll say that they're not necessarily immediately fresh. I mean, they're maybe between five to 12 hours old. I look over, guys, he went this way. He's been gone for quite a while. Well, maybe we'll run into him again. All right. Uh, did, 
we need him for anything else? Not that I can think of. Oh, guys, guys, over here, over here. Huh? But look over there. <laughs> Jonathan oh comes running up. That's his name now. Not Sicky Creed. Okay. It's Jonathan. <laughs> Go, guys, over here. How was, how was everything? Did you? I forget what you was doing. <laughs> How did we? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, well, we found some Durger, but they weren't the right Durger. Uh, we, uh, we, we killed them anyway. All right. They deserve it, Dean, right? Well, it's self defense, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Of course. Well, gra great. Said, That's great. You look. Said, uh, wings looking good. Sorry, what were you about to say, ma'am? They sent a. Uh, a giant ogre after us that was undead, which was fun. Oh, yes, yeah, um, the ogres. But no sign of uh, no sign of tall tree. Uh, did you see any signs of him while searching? Well, I've got good news and bad news. I mean, the bad news is that um, I didn't, not really. I mean, I flew flew over the mountains for at least a, a day or so, and um, it's just it's it's just all mountains up there. I, I mean, they're huge. I don't know if I hit it or not. I didn't really find anything there, but on the flight here, and I apologize, I don't know if it's it's probably not related to Toltree or nothing, but I, I saw a few odd things, I just figured I'm out there doing a job for you, might as well mention it in case it, it comes in beneficial. But I saw, saw a big, big hole in the ground, it looked like people living there, swooped in kind of close, found there a bunch of hyena men. Do with that what you will. Um, and then further, on the way here, I kind of swooped out around Kirk Honig a little bit, and I saw this piece of rock sticking out. I came in, and there's a hole in the ground. Uh, I didn't want to go down in there. I didn't know if I'd get stuck or what went down in there, but there's this piece of rock in a hole. All right, now that I'm saying it out loud does not sound that notable, I apologize if I'm wasting your time. I'm just sharing what... The reconnaissance I got. What what color was the rock? Uh, oh no, it was weird. Not like rocks I've seen. Not like it was a weird rock. Not like the stones of the spine. It was like blue. It was like blue and blue black. Old yeah, as hell. I I think we uh, I think that we had some clues about something like that. That might be something worth looking at. <laughs> what just got cast? That's funny. Oh yeah? Sorry. You know no, that's fine. You know about this? Well, well I don't know what it was. It looked like something dug down up in ya. That dug down up in me? D dug down dug down into it. In, okay. In yeah. Right. I I just wanna go look at it. Oh wrong. Well, How far away is it? Uh, well, if you zoom out, I have marked both of these spots on the map. The one, the rock is this one here. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was movie. the chasm. The no, rumor has it that that's supposed to be James Bond. Anyway, but in the rock. Yep. So I'll mock this on your map. Oh yeah, you've got your silly map. You're, you keep adding stuff to. Yeah. It's really filling out. It's looking more realistic now. I'm sorry. Wow, can't... you you're much. You're you... really good at making maps. That that's like. It's almost as good as my stuff. Me? No. It's way be... it's way better than than Slax's stuff. But he says it's almost as good as. His it's stuff. Almost... Oh, don't get down. <laughs> you know, it's just all. It's the detail. The more you add. The more reference you got. Oh, yes, yeah, I guess so. Well, well I'm sorry, you. guys. I'm sorry I don't got more more info about Tall Tree. Um, I mean, I could go look again. I just looking after my wings. Looking still good. Haven't crashed yet. Thank you very much, uh, Mongo. So, just just tell me once. One, one, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think you need to go. Don't put yourself in danger. 
poor Rahat. I was hoping you'd say that. Overall, well, it was nice meeting y'all. I, I appreciate the healing, and I guess my debt's paid, but let me know if you need anything. Live well. I'm thinking That'll about, pay your debt. You know, I'm thinking about going and getting a job up at Rivel's End. What's there? Settle down, meet a nice chicken. Yeah, I'm just settle. Yes, yeah, right. Meet a nice chicken, <laughs> just make a, a, flat, a family. All right. Uh, just just remind me one more time. The, the, the northernmost mark on the map, is that where the rock was with the hole? And the, the southern mark was the, the pit full of uh, knolls? That's right. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You got it. So, I guess it would make sense to move to the northernmost one first. Yeah, I think first we got to give the ladies back their light, though. Sure. Yeah, you got a bunch of open-ended open -ended threads. All right. Yeah. Well, Jonathan Sicky Cree heads out, flaps up into the wind, woof, 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 and flies out in the direction of, like, Tourmaline and the other towns that way to the west. Okay. What do now? Yeah, uh, let's go see the ladies at the re at the the restaurant. Right. In. Uh, you guys walk in. Trovis is what time is it? Uh, it's still early. Uh, Trovis is there. He's just starting his daily drinking. It, you're lucky to encounter him only in the mornings. Uh, he's there. He's having a bowl of the stew that they've cooked up for you. Allie waves. Oh, oh, you got the. Or is the light? Uh, parent when you walk in or uh yeah i'll i'll take it out of my pack and hold it up oh thank the gods they're back cory oh thank you so much thank you oh what what did i say free bring out stew for everybody and drinks you guys need a place to stay uh look uh, whatever you need the, the the northern light is open for you guys whenever you need free rooms well thank you we may pass through again for sure Oh, I mean, you don't have to. Uh, we, we get it. We're at the far end of the of the tin tans, but we sure do like visitors, uh, and we we appreciate it. Uh, hey guys, what? Well, tell me about the adventure. I haven't been adventuring forever. Uh, what did you kill? What'd you do? Uh, I think Mungo would probably be the best one to describe it. He's a bit of a, a tail spinner. Yeah, yeah, I've been known to tell a sta tale or two. Uh, and always know. truthfully. Oh, yeah? Never Honestly, any not. embellishment. Yeah, no uh, embellishment. Alright, well, we're out with it then. Well, so there I was alongside my compatriots. And, uh, you know, I stepped to the front. Um, Met their mightiest warriors head on, slew each one, um, sometimes multiples at a time, with my mighty weapons and cunning. Um, you know, I I knocked down the gate at their uh, compound with a mighty gust of my breath. You just blew it down. Um, yeah, yeah, oh, just blew wow. it down and. And then each, uh, each enemy, you know, kind of threw themselves at me. Uh, and, uh, you know, kind of just threw themselves at my sword. They were begging for death by the end. God. How'd you get them yeah. to do that? They were just like that? Well, they were so afraid of what I might do to them. Oh, because of how loud Stone their voice is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stonegrave's going to turn to, to uh, Slacks and she's going to say... So the booger just lies. <laughs> it's uh, we we find our entertainment where we can, you know. Right. Oh man, that's crazy. See, you didn't even need any of these guys. I remember a time we, I mean, the group were facing a bunch of uh, ogres, and I just kicked them into the river. He just, <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, that sounds that sounds cool. Uh and all of it's true. 
Which is the most important part. Yeah, That's you, the way it'll come that. out written in the book, right? That's right. You, you're writing yeah. a book? He always is yeah. writing a book. Oh. Are you, am I going to be in it? I'm always writing a book. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, you will be known as the uh, as the gentleman who... Uh, a gentle person who gave my friends and I a night uh, of reverie full of free food and drink right. and uh, a warm place to stay. Oh, and some tales of Daring Do. And, of yeah. course, more tales. The Daring Do. Yeah, put that bit about the ogre in there. My, my mates Absolutely. love Absolutely. Yeah, okay. I'll even tell them you were there. What? With you yeah. Guys? What? What would I do? Yeah. What, did I yell with you? Wait, no, yeah, I don't you know. What do you mean I was there? Oh, I wasn't there. Your stories aren't embellished or untrue at all. I, I don't think we could just say I was there. We would do that for humorous effect. I. You came running out of the base, screaming and begging for help. Uh, so that, How about that? That part would be a joke. No. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I want you had stolen their mightiest weapon. Uh, look, I want final cut on any of the bits that are about me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I look for. Let me know when it comes out. I definitely will uh, try to read someone's copy. Can do. All right, can you also hear my dog barking? Sorry. What? Can you hear my dog barking? Oh, no. Oh, that that's that's the Knowles in the distance. Yeah. Damn Knowles. I'd, I'd pay you a couple gold for each Knoll head you can bring back. We have to bring back the whole head. Uh, could we just do ears? Uh, it's just so much easier to carry. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, you said. I'm really looking for those heads, you know. Girl. Uh, if we bring the cart, we could get heads. Yeah, heads is fine. All right. Look, I just want them gone. They're threatened. They've been threatening the town, the chasm out there forever. All right. That's the thing to do. I love you. I love you. You guys want the last of this soup? I'm finishing off the stew ah. we made the other day. Yes. This oh, way, yeah. stew. All right, this way. All right, she slides slides a bowl down. Give, give me a dexterity. Give me a sleight of hand roll to catch it, just like a bar, sliding it down the bar. Oh, yeah. I want some stew too. All right, everybody. This is well, a stupid way to do it. We're getting it for free. Everybody, 19. give me a sleight of hands. All right, great. Resolve grabs out, reaches out, and grabs the stew before it slides off the end nom, of the nom, counter. Nom, nom, nom. I don't waste food. No fucking way. That was an unarmed strike. That was not what I wanted to click. You punch, you punch the bowl of soup <laughs> off the counter. Pew, pew! Oh, you said sleight of hand? Yeah. yeah. There it is. I think I, I think I definitely caught my soup. Did you? Oh, that's yours, 14. Yeah, yeah, Minga. Not quite as quick as Rizal is. Like, Rizal's just so used to pouncing as a dire wolf that Rizal's just right on there. Uh, but yeah. I rolled a six. Is that high <laughs> enough to get soup? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll we'll say you you do punch it. That'll be funny. You, you do punch <laughs> it, All right. but some some slops up onto your face and starts and drips down. And you're able to lick some off your own face. Yeah. Mm. This was good soup. I wish I had more. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, it's the last we had. I'll wipe it. I'll wipe my face off on my sleeve. Right. Maybe there's a napkin there. I don't even look. I just wipe my face off on my sleeve. Yeah, th well, they, yeah, they're sli they're sliding you a, a cloth, but you ignore that. Yeah. Well, I wipe my sleeve off with the cloth. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I love that. All right, guys, what you guys up to tonight? I'm gonna go look in a hole. Look in a hole. Yeah, we're okay. gonna kill some hole. Is that a euphemism? We're gonna go to the knoll hole. Couple holes. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. All right. Knoll hole. Well, that's hunting fun. some knolls. Well, dude, dude, don't be a stranger. Do drop by whenever you can. I mean, we're, we're at the far end of town, and with the with the ferry frozen up, it, it's hard to see people. So, whenever you get a chance, drop on by. I'll make you up. 
Let me get up here. It's the estate of choice. Thank you so much. Oh, pleasure. So, yeah, does she take the does she take the goats? Oh, would you like to buy uh, some goats for stew? For s- hmm. Or for goat's milk to make cheese. I don't know. Whichever way you want to go. Oh, that's some choices. Okay. Yeah. You I mean, got I two. Guess... You could do one of each. They wouldn't really be good mounts, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. God damn it. Oh, wait. Okay. Wait. You got these from the. Oh, okay. I'd love them, but I can't. I can't take it. Those were stolen from town. I'll, I'll take them off your hands and give them back to where oh. they're supposed to be. All right, give them to who they belong to. Fair enough. Will do. Will do. Awful kind of you to save them now, especially if you didn't know. Because animal lovers. I can't leave a good goat behind. Okay. The goatest of all time. All right, you guys. Well, st- hang out as much as you if you want. I just I got some cleaning in the back to do, and uh, I guess watch all the chopis if you're gonna hang out. Otherwise. But well, what time of day is it? You said it's early five. in the morning. It's five a.m. I say we uh, load up the cart and head towards the hole. Unless anyone has any other ideas. Nope. Nope. That's good. I mean, I don't mind heading to the hole, but I don't want to lose far, too far off a track of helping Kemet's wife. We did make him a promise. Yeah, all Lonely Wood is in one direction, and I mean, it's probably about the same distance either way. Looking at this map. Well, don't you need to go get the device again? I think. We didn't get it yet. No, I think they're still working on it. Last time. Okay. Because it was going to be a couple days. So we didn't take the vi- the device and Minga. We just took the mm-hmm. Minga. <laughs> but yeah, I All mean, right. I think they said a couple days. Yeah. So I think it's going to be at least another day before it's done. So yeah. it's not pressing yeah. to go back there right now. I mean, I mean, I could tr- I could try flexing at his wife. Probably, you know, she might be just so impressed that she just instantly is cured. Oh. But... <laughs> if she's into Goliath chicks. I mean, who isn't? Look at me. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, the healing <laughs> property of Goliath muscles. That's right. It's like the healing property of flexing. <laughs> I'd mean, be crazy if eventually you like inscribed a rune onto your muscle and somehow that was a thing. Shut up! Totally. Just flexing. Uh, you know, I'll, take, I'll take a level of cleric just to pull that off. Rizal's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. group his whole life around bigger beasts, and that's pretty much how he was raised. So he kind of looks at. Uh, the Goliath's like, not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> <Not> bad. <laughs> Respectable. <laughs> Alright, what, you're loading right, up and so going then... towards a hole? A hole. Going towards a hole. The top hole? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of holes in this place. A lot of holes. I have a feeling this, my, my suspicion is that this is the hole that, uh, that Kemet saw in um, when he read that 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 guy's mm-hmm. mind before he got burned at the stake, so that's yeah. that's what I'm that's what I'm curious player, about. Player yeah. has player has some theories, but Mingo 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 would have no idea. <laughs> so he wasn't so even I, there. So I say this to everyone in the cart as we're rolling along. I will be right back. Okay, right. Mungo sleeping. So you're gonna you're gonna describe in detail what happened. So in the journal, I think mm. we got some notes. Let's see, player documents, uh, player notes, and it's Dazan before he burned. And, uh, his vision was of upside down torches, purple reflective stone. Um, maybe it was a reflection of torches, and that's why they were upside down. Uh, but some purple reflective stone, and this, this one was described as kind of blue black, which could be purple. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It 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 uh, it strikes me as similar. So we'll see. Almost almost like a structure tumbled over. Possibly, but torches burning upside down is either you're hanging from the ceiling mm-hmm. and looking at it that way, or. Uh, a reflection of torches on a polished surface on the floor or on water. I don't know. Ice. We'll see. See what we see. Interesting. Interesting. 
All right. Uh, we'll give me survival to get there. Will do. Survival driver, please. Survival plus. I'm back. Uh, it's a twenty-eight on the survival. Whoa! Okay, no problems at all. You follow Slax's map to a T. Good map. Uh, Slax, I didn't know you were a cartographer. I am an expert cartographer. One of the better maps I've seen in a while. Then Jonathan put some stuff on here too, but mostly it's me. I like permission. Tell me more. Yeah, me too. Ooh. So this is the mountain? This is a hole. There's a hole in the ground. This is on the way here I described that I I believe that what uh our um Aarakocra friend described uh sounded similar to what uh Oh I'm doing that, sorry. What Kemet had uh seen when he read that uh Dazan's mind before he was burned at the stake. Okay. So when you're talking about him, the guy that was burned at the stake, do you also mention that in Kemet's vision that he saw the guy staring at himself? Uh, probably because I, I I described what he told us. It's, I, that was just the part that I had typed in the notes. Okay. Well, then, yeah, I, I guess he, he would have added that as well. Stonegrave says to um, to them, there are, are tales of mighty wizards that I've heard who can make copies of themselves. Uh, I, suspect, well, I don't know how mighty Dazan was. If he had the ability to do that, he might not be dead. Yeah. There's a good possibility there. Maybe that's why he didn't try so hard to survive. Because he really didn't try too hard to survive. Yeah, normally wizards have the most instinct for self-preservation. It was it is a very odd thing that he didn't try to save himself. Nah, it was like not on the top of his list that day. It was more important for him not to tell us shit than it was for him to stay alive. You guys, after about three hours through the tundra, um, well, your cart should be here. I just didn't put it on the map right now. Um, you guys start to approach. It's not snowing or anything. It's open sky, so you see it in the distance, that little chunk of rock sticking up out of the ground. Uh, it's not small. It's probably 30 feet wide and maybe juts probably 25 feet up out of the snow disappearing underneath the surface what's breaking hey it's the thing excuse me okay uh yeah i want to go up and expect uh, inspect it good driving rizal good map oh, look at the moon where are the moon <laughs> it does kind of look like that all right, you so know what a moon of a moon is called? A moon Sorry. of a moon? Yeah. Uh, suborbital? I don't know. Well, the technical term is submoon, but they've also toyed with the idea of calling it a moonito. A moonito! Yeah. Moonito. Anyway. moonito sounds adorable. I know. Well, uh, what if it's a female moon? Then would it be a moonita? That's only in Spanish. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and inspect so, uh, this thing. Much better. It's the thing. It's the spaceship from the thing. Oh, nice. This fucking... I don't always want to give us away with a torch. Ah, uh, true that. Yeah, we don't want the rock to see us. I have a <laughs> feeling there might be more here than a rock, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Been wrong before. All right, so Mungo wants to run up and take a look. 
I will go with Mungo in case something tries to chop Mungo. I am going to do the F action and, and hang out with all you guys. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, let me just give you the official description of this so I didn't miss anything. A, uh, slightly wrong. A 20-foot high, irregular-shaped spur of rock juts out from the tundra ahead of you. Its smooth and shiny surface cannot possibly have been worn down by the wind. No. This protrusion looks utterly out of place, as if it had been thrust into the ground. Hmm. What shape is it? Uh, let me move in here. Uh, okay, so let me describe this, I guess, with my hands. It, the bottom part is thick, and then it moves in and has, like, a small post almost sticking up but the, the post is still probably 15 feet wide mm. but the post does is all like jagged a gigantic... and broken okay does it look like a gigantic sword that was stabbed into the ground and we see the hilt hmm. uh, I mean I can see how it's kind of like that it, it doesn't look exactly like a sword or anything it doesn't have like finger okay. holds or anything so, if I Mongo. take yeah, if I sorry. take my halberd and I slam it into the ground, mm -hmm. the dirt the dirt flies in a particular way. But then, if I bury my halberd and I lift it up, the ground moves in another particular way. Does it look like this has fallen from the sky, or does it look like it's come from underground? I'm trying to understand what proves what. How does it fall? Uh, so, when, you, when you break so, car glass, mm -hmm. it some pieces either land on the inside of the car if you break it from the outside, or they land on the outside of the car if you break uh, it from the inside. So where did this come from based on like that type of thing? Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, give me an insight check. It was uh, your question, so I would oh, say well, yeah, go ahead and make the insight check. Yeah. I have advantage on insight checks. So. Okay. Boom. 17. Okay. 17. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good thought. I mean, you're looking at it, and it doesn't look like there's remnants of surface breach and spreading. This thing has come down from above straight into the ground. Hmm. I'm liking your giant sword idea. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't think I was that insightful. I was just, you know, taking a guess. Well, I can't think of what else it could possibly be. Hmm. I don't want to I mean, fuck with anybody big enough to wield that thing. Can we? Okay. Indeed, it must have it must have been wielded by a god. Yeah. So can we still... dig around it a little? What? Can we dig around it a little? Uh, sure. Or let's see. Um, sorry, I'm trying to look at my. Why is this? Ugh. Something's wrong with my screen. It's like I got armor class stuck on the screen now. I can't see anything. What are you looking for in your yeah. digging? I was just looking for a spell that I have. Oh. See if there's anything that's going to be useful. Is this a hole in the ground in front of Mr. Slacks? This is a hole in the ground. Yeah, it just kind of worms down and curves in towards it. Probably 50 feet down. Does it have any white shit in it? Like the from those... Other from that we saw when we oh. when we fought the uh, mammoth. Interesting. And the wolves. Give me a perception check. Okay. Not at first glance. That's a good thought. Let me read you the official description here. The slippery tunnel opens. Oh, never mind. That's if you go in it. Yeah, I I didn't perceive much. No. Maybe yeah, it's, it's too just, dark. It's I don't know. Ice. I don't see any white shit. Yeah, no white shit. Hey guys, does this look like one of them caterpillar holes to you? Or the worm holes or whatever the hell that thing was when we fought the wolves? Uh, I don't have anything take a look. Can... Does it look like any kind of wormhole or anything? I mean, Maybe. in the same way, because like outside of that uh, frost giant den, you had found that hole uh, with, the, with the splunk in it. Uh, and it's similar to that, but... 
Well, Rizal, you you give me a nature check. I'm gonna shoot a firebolt down the hole. You can shoot a wait, firebolt. Wait, wait. <laughs> yep. Blah blah blah. All right. I can't see anything down there, so I'm gonna shoot a firebolt. That's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay. Uh, well, you can clear up the confusion. You're looking at it, and you you see like scrape marks, whereas you remember from the hole you saw at the frost giant den or whatever uh, was smooth and like melted. Uh, there weren't any scrapes. It was all melted because of the heat on the type of thing that goes through that hole. This does not have evidence of that. Good eye slacks, but this hole is a little bit different. This one has uh, rougher edges uh, than the last hole. So whatever it is, is not exactly the same thing, but I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't somehow related. some other form of burrow or something that burrows or could be a worm or anything that burrows really so i have proficiency with smith tools and with stonemason tools does mm. this look like does this look like something that was done with a tool or does this look like something that was done by an animal the hole yeah uh what kind of check do you think that would just be insight or I mean, I guess you could do a tools check. Um, yeah, that's 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 fine. Um, let me see. Um, uh, okay, so I have proficiency in those tools, but I don't have the toolkits with me. I don't think uh, <laughs> they're not in my inventory. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Well, yeah. So, um, just some sort of maybe intelligence. Based. Uh, how about maybe insight? Oh, sure. that's wisdom. Well, yeah. I mean, whatever. That that makes sense too. A seventeen, not a twenty. Ooh, okay. All right. Um. Hmm. What to tell you? What to tell you? Um. Well, I'll tell you. It, it's not an animal per se. But it's not mm -hmm. specific tools either. You're like looking at this hole, and you're 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 seeing like holes where multiple fingers gripped in. So it's not mm -hmm. clawing like a, an animal. It's it's very clearly climbing some sort yeah. of law. And the fingers are big, like bigger than your fingers. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so. Mungo, you went around the whole thing, right? Yeah, there's nothing. There's not. Yeah. No entrance. As far as um, boundary will let me see, it just looks like a big old shadow. Mm -hmm. So. I see so, we go in the hole. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah, that sounds that sounds that sounds like did a good it, way. did my did my firebolt down in the hole reveal anything? <laughs> oh, you did shoot down in there. Uh, you, yeah, you, uh, you, I don't know if it revealed anything. I mean, it probably lights up the whole whoosh as it goes down. Uh, it probably hits the bottom where the, the tunnel curves over to the, to the right. Uh, and just melts some of the ice down there. But it doesn't okay. give you a better view through the hole. So who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. All right, whoever's climbing uh, down, give me an athletics check to try to grip the side and ugh, make your way down this little hole. All right, here I go. Uh, hey, Rizal, you want to uh, give me a little boost here? I got gotcha. you. Son of a bitch, I'm not rolling good today. Oh, Ten. No. All right, great. You you lose. You guys just see Slash go whoom, just down the hole, just like the firebolt swoosh down the bottom, shooting Fucking out. Woody slide. I won't resolve what, what happened until the top people are resolved. But uh, <laughs> Whoa! Like, whoom. I'll go next. That looked like fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Need a little <laughs> help or last. no? Um. I, I gotta be honest, she would be like, 
she'd be like, I do not need help, but in her mind, she's like, I need help. <laughs> Maybe. So well, she hesitated. I got. I can't get yeah. anyways. Okay, here we go. There's no shame in this. A 14, uh, 16, and then guidance. Uh, do it up. A 20. A 20. All right. Yeah. Stonegrave is able to push on the outside and slowly lower herself down into the chamber below without falling. What about the other two? I'll go next. All right. Mungo makes a climb check, and he says before that, um, get ready to catch me. Um, but uh, if I need to, I'm also ready to misty step, because I don't want to take fall damage <laughs> okay. here. As, Which as, I will. <laughs> as, as, it, as he yells down, somebody get How ready to catch me. How does a three sound? Somebody get ready to catch me. Stergrave no. is going to say to Mr. Slacks, that's you, <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, God. Yeah, Mungo starts sliding down, maybe before Stonegrave even gets out of the hole. Not that it's, he's going to hit you, but you're like, oh, crap, so you have to jump out of the way yeah. into the opening. Mungo comes swoosh. Ew, ew, ew. Flat. <laughs> and are you, you're casting Misty Step, or are you yeah, going to fall? Yeah, if, if I need to, I'm not, I'm not taking damage, so I will, uh, I'll cast Misty Step. All right. Um, I'm just gonna use a yeah. Just mark off a spell slot or whatever. Uh, all right, great. And then I last, I don't have to, but yes, not yet. Anyway. Oh, wait, why? They get one free usage. Oh, I see. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm done. Well, but click somewhere so that it oh deals. It renders the Boop. rest of it. All right, great. So you you make it to the bottom, no problem at all. And Rizal, you are left at the top. <laughs> okay. Oh, he, you fall down as well. The only one making it down without an issue is Stonegrave. Uh, this <laughs> I, this is gonna bum Mungo out, but uh. Mr. Slacks and Brizal don't take damage from the fall. You've slipped out and slid prone on the bottom floor here. Uh, let's uh, send you guys downstairs. Actually, everyone just step on the hole. Ooh, that was fun. Whoop. All right. Let me open up my layer. Step on the hole. There we go. Bloop. I follow Slacks. Jar oh. Slacksel. Uh -huh. I don't see much in here. Can you not see anything? What are those little? St you can see some statues. Oh, okay, you do. Okay. Well, let me tell you about it. The slippery tunnel opens into an upside-down room the contents of which are coated in frost. Across from the tunnel is a wooden door that's flush with the ceiling, which used to be the floor. The door is ajar. The door. The door is ajar, and flanking it are two identical stone statues that hang down like stalactites. Across from the statues are sconces with upside-down flames burning in them. Now the flames are jetting downward, or are they are they like kind of going upwards with gravity? They're a very awkwardly jetting downwards, refusing to abide by gravity. Hmm. Mm. Bet you if you cast detect magic in here, you'd find some. Probably, but uh, nothing that's going to help us. Do you think this? Do you think this is the sword? Do you think this? Do you think somebody lives in the sword? No, but uh, I don't like it when I see two statues next to a doorway. It feels kind of like gods. I would be uh, a bit careful before walking through that door. It could be yes. a trap, just a regular Spe trap, it's not magical. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, Stonegrave's gonna cast uh, armor of Agathis on herself. Mm because 
Yeah, she's gonna activate the uh, the frost rune. Twink. Um, I'm gonna take one of those shields that I picked up at the uh, at at the Kelvin's Cairn, and I'm gonna throw it on the floor in between the two statues towards the door and see if anything happens. Okay. Nothing Do I have happens. to roll for that? No. Nothing happens. This is the version, okay. right? <laughs> yeah. No. no what are the statues? Happened. Hmm? What are the statues like? Uh, they look like uh, a, an old, long-faced human dressed in wizard's robes, clutching a staff. Uh, wizards. <laughs> okay, so... I have reach, so would, do you want me to go first, or do you want to go first? Uh... You got extra armor. I, I don't really have anything extra. Um, I'm going to poke this statue with my sword, though. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Seems inert. Mm. All right. Well, you, you want to arm wrestle for it? Who goes first? Uh, I'll do it. All right. <sighs> uh, Why does it say negative 20 feet over everyone's head? Uh, because you fell gone, down a hole? Yeah, you've gone down in the ground. Oh, okay. That's your elevations, so, and that's how that loads the different levels as you go through them. I'll be so, right behind you. Okay, so she's going to walk in. All right, there's a door on the left, or door to the north and door to the south. Um, I'm going to inspect this door and see if, I, if there's any signs of traps or anything like that. Okay. You're looking around. Um, I, yeah, give me what, an investigation, I guess. Yeah, I hate investigation though. I'm no good at it. <laughs> ah, Fifteen. That wasn't so bad. I pressed twice. Sorry, and I oh, wasted okay. a twenty. Oh, oh man. Okay. Uh, I mean, you're just kind of looking over these doorways. You're trying to look for certain runes or anything that might trigger anything. You're not mm. seeing that per se. Um, you, you see that the end of the hallway is, I guess, the top of a stairwell. But rubble has fallen down and clogged that path completely. But no, you don't find any evidence of a trap on the door or anything. Shall I open the door? <laughs> I think that's uh, either that or we're just going to stand here and do nothing. Get all dressed up for nothing. Huh. All right. Uh, shit. All right. You push, you push this door because all of the... The tops of the doors are at your feet, so you guys all have to climb over this two-foot hump to get through right. the door into the next room. Uh, and this next room is... Can everyone else barely see anything? Uh, I can see pretty good. Yeah, I see fine. Because I have, have dark vision. When I came down here, everything was like crystal clear, but then mm -hmm. I went to another screen and came back, and now it's like... Just everything is really dark. I can't see anything. Maybe you click on yourself. Click your token again, maybe. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, that usually does it. All right. This room. Wait, I need to make sure I'm in the wrong. I'm in the right place. Oh shit, guys! It's not a sword. It's a fucking tower. Uh, it's the old reversey tower. Oh, the tower probably was like able to be upright no matter which direction it was pointing, and it fell into the ground. The first wonder works. Yeah, basically. I'm ready. So, All right. Let's so blast oh. that sounds that sounds absolutely ridiculous. This is clearly a sword. It's clearly a sword. <laughs> All right, so let me tell okay. you. know, it could be both. It could be a sword a, tower. A, a tower shaped, a, a, a sword shaped tower. Now yeah, that maybe that, someone was that, using that for battle. That sounds plausible. Yeah, I've yeah. seen Pacific Rim. 
sounds plausible, right. and it Open sounds like door. So hang on, genius just, in just engineering. To tell you about this room, tall bookshelves affixed oh, yeah. to the outer wall have spilled their contents onto the ceiling-turned floor. A large table lies on its side, one leg broken, a five-foot-wide tunnel in the floor. Am I reading you the wrong fucking room? God damn it. Foreshadowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Let me just do something real quick. Uh... Yeah, that was the wrong one. All right. Well, this room contains... Sh I mean, it's probably true. It's upside down. Shit's fallen all over the place. This room contains shattered and jumbled equipment. Much of it near two heavy wooden work tables. One on its side, the other upside down. Yeah, not a lot in this room. All right, you guys are going to continue on. This room is... This is a narrow corridor over here. Hmm. And it just ends there. It's not dark. It's just that's like a back corner of the room. Oh. oh. Anything in this room? The floor of this room is covered with shards of glass, frozen pools of spilled fluids, and the wreckage of two cabinets. In a niche in the far corner of the room, a metal chest is bolted to the ceiling. Its lid is locked. Ooh. Um. I like chests. Anybody got thieves' tools? Uh, I have sleight of hand, but not. Apparently, I don't have thieves' tools. I'm proficient with them. I just don't think I have any. You would have gotten some from Kemet's body, probably. Okay, then yeah, I will try and unlock it. Okay. Can I reach it? Being that <laughs> I am. You want me to give you uppies? Just, yeah, just for the yeah. fun, let's get being, some uppies. You need to get on someone's... Being that I am, I am <laughs> six foot nine inches tall, or six foot ten. Yeah, I'm six ten. Uh, yeah, give me some uppies here. <laughs> he just might need it for the uppies. For sure, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. Inventory. It's not in my inventory. Um... But yeah, I should have gotten some. Yeah, we'll put them in there, I, I figure. Okay. Would they be in my inventory on the HUD? Or should nah, I go into my character? I don't character remember shirt? actually giving them to you, so we'll just make sure you have them in the future. Okay. So what do I click to uh, try and do Thieves' Tools? Uh, Just do a slide of hand. It's a dexterity check. Okay. Or we'll wait. Are you proficient in slide of hand? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have a plus one. Okay. All right. Well, eighteen is good enough. All right. Great. Uh, so you 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 get, you get up on Stonegrave's shoulders. You're wobbling around trying to grab it. You finally get it in the slot. You unlock it. The lid falls open, and all the potions start to fall out onto the ground. What's everyone's immediate reactions? Fucking catch them! Catch them! All right, dexterity saving throws from everybody. There's four different potion bottles falling down, different colors. Green, blue, red, and purple. All right, deck save. 19. 18. 19. Oh, hell yeah. All right, Slax grabs one. Stonegrave grabs another one. 15. Riz Rizal is able to grab one. Mungo, if you're there, do you want a potion? I, I don't. Well, oh, I would like to, but 20, can I yeah. can I try something insanier? Because I sure. the dex is bad. Okay. Uh, I have I have the ability to uh, cause harmless tremors in the ground for one minute. Can I cause the ground to become fluid like to the point where it kind of catches one of them? Um. I, I liked your attempt for flavor. That just doesn't seem reasonable. Okay, reasonable. then I yeah. dodge <laughs> in to grab one as well. Ta da! Uh, oh, hey. okay. Yeah. Well, look, you made the gods that. have shown upon me. Do you want to add any 
Do you want to flavor yeah. it in some way like that? Yeah. I don't know. M- Mungo throws out a little chunk of his body at one of them, and it, and it cushions as this thing falls. Like, it basically just shoots out a bunch of little tendrils, and it slowly cradles it to the earth. Okay. All right. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and, then, and then I have that little bit just carry it back to my body, and just I absorb oh. it in. Wonderful. Sweet. Wonderful. Good. All right, well, uh, let's do this in order. I'll let you guys choose. Mr. Slack, you were the quickest to, to reach out and try to grab one of these. Which color would you like? Uh, Yellow, blue, blue, red, blue? Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. Um, Ooh, we got the fuck color. Well, I'll do this in a second. Uh, okay, well then, uh, Stonegrave, what color would you want? Yellow. Yellow, all right. Rizal? I think I was the slowest. Uh, Mungo was the slowest, technically. Oh, as far as the numbers, I see. He rolled a 17, I rolled a 15. Okay. All right, Mungo, what color would you want? The bluest color available. Uh, well, the, the bluest color available that hasn't been chosen is purple. Okay, I'll take purple. All right. I'll take the perp skirt. The perp, perp skirt. All right, great. <laughs> you get a perp skirt. All right. All right. You know, I don't feel like fucking around with having you guys have to identify this or whatever. I'm just going to give you the fucking things. Well, we appreciate that. If you guys want to pretend like you don't know, that's fine. But I'm just giving you the fucking things. Well, I'm pre- I'm pretending that clearly up, upside down tower is a, a sword, so I think you know <laughs> we're even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I said yellow, but it could possibly be green, but it's acid resistant potion. Blue is f- cold resistant potion. Red is fire resistant. Who got red? Rizal, I guess, because it's not purple. Rizal did, yeah. I like fire resistance. It's a pretty good thing to have. All right, Mungo, yours is force resistance. Wow, yeah. that's a good one. That's a good one. You want to trade? I will be invincible to warlocks. <laughs> yeah. For a minute. <laughs> Alright. You all got your potions. You guys are in this room. What are you doing now? You guys have come to this back corner. Looks like that's a wall there. Mongo, you see you anything else in here that's interesting? Um There's some really interesting murals on the walls. Just uh No, there's nothing in here. Sorry. Oh, all right. <laughs> Just being silly. Let's go the door. Way. All right. All right. No. Nope. I say we check the other door. I will inspect this door before I unlock it or right. open it if it is even locked. All right, yeah, give me an investigation. Or... Map is tight. Oh, I got guidance. Nice. So a whopping eight. A whopping eight. You, you feel that this door is safe as hell. All right. This is a safe door, guys. <laughs> open the door. And you open it, and me. it's fine. Yeah, you're good. Rocks fall, everyone dies. Mm-hmm. It's true. <laughs> New characters. Actually, just campaign's over, guys. Sorry. All right, oh, great. Dude. So this is the room I was telling you about earlier. Foreshadowing. Uh, large table on the side. Books have fallen out of these bookshelves all over the ground. There's just books all over. Uh, and then books. there's a five-foot-wide tunnel in the floor to the east that leads down. Hmm. This leads higher in the tower. 
Does this tunnel look like it was made the same way the tunnel out of this place was made or into this place was made? Are there like finger holes and shit? Oh uh, yeah, give me a perception check. Yeah, I'm so perceptive too. Super perceptive. I do have a plus three. Yeah, it's a ten. Okay. Um I mean, you can't confirm that it's exactly the same. I mean, you're looking at ice over there, and this is stone. But in between, like, just past the stone hole, there is ice and snow. And, and that does look pretty similar. But, I mean, you're thinking something must have been pretty strong to to bust through this stone like this. Does it look busted or does it look melted? Looks busted. Looks busted. All right. Hmm. Hopefully he's not on the other end of this thing, or she could be a she was not on the other end of this hole. Because hmm. I'm going down this hole. Mongo, right. see if they have your book. <laughs> yeah, well, let's find any copies or any book. You flip any books or any book? You're looking at books. You find a book called "The Magical Wonders of Netherol." You find a book called The Ooh. Mysteries of the Feyrim. You find up another book. Feyrim? <laughs> uh, the fuck is the Feyrim? That's where you go to get a Feyrim job. <laughs> uh, no, not F-E-Y-R-I-M. <laughs> it's P-H-A-E-R-I-M-M. -M. You're, fl uh. you're flipping through some of the pages. It looks like it's talking about some sort of weird telepathic funnel shaped monster of malevolent intellect they're from the underdark but well i'm gonna i'm gonna keep both of these this this is exciting i'm gonna start a library up here <laughs> okay oh well y'all if you're collecting books there's also the book wizards in the hollow uh yeah all right just pick them I'm up gonna, i'm gonna do it <laughs> yeah this is all i want i want books I'm gonna learn how to read. Are you just is that them all inside? the takeable books? Yeah, yeah, they're just floating around and oh, but I don't want them to get like they're, they're not getting like moist, right? I'm not like ruining the pages and shit. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It... You could put them in your pack inside of your body. <laughs> I mean, I like yeah, the visual that... of these books floating around inside of him. We can say it's not ruining it, I guess. Okay, good. He holds them. Just like he would hold them in his yeah. hand, just holding them within a bubble inside of himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're floating around. They're not in bubbles. They're floating around for sure. Well, it's I'm in control of my fluids. Okay. That's yeah. right. All right. So, so uh, go ahead. what's the deal with this hole? Uh, it's a hole we got to go in. Yeah, you can see probably ten feet down, another room below. It's rubble on the floor. Lit by these Damn, upside they, down sconces. They built their floors ten feet thick. Damn. Well, I'll I'll say that it's broken apart or something because there's snow and ice in between floors. Okay. I'm going in the hole. Go, go in, in the, the hole. hole. I'm going in the hole right after you. Do I need a I'm Do I need a roll? No. Ten feet. Shoot. Uh. Whoa. Cages. Yeah. This room contains two metal cages, both badly damaged. Nearby, two roughly dug tunnels, one in the ceiling and one in the floor. I guess you came through the one in the ceiling. Uh, and they lead to other areas. Narrow windows along the bowed outer wall afford you a glimpse of the earth into which this structure impaled itself. Just snow. Now, why would a thing. sword need windows? <laughs> it's, it's uh, remember, it's architecture. It's a sword-shaped tower. The people who live inside the sword still want to be able to see out, so they had to put windows. They probably artfully created them so that from the outside they look like maybe embellishments on the sword or runes or something. Also, think about it. If you were being carried around by a giant and occasionally flung at an enemy at high velocity, you'd want to be able to see where you're going. 
Hmm. Yeah, that too. You speak wise words. That's a very good point. So which door you want to open first? Uh, I think there's only one door, and then there's another. There's oh, two. there's two doors. I see the other door. Yeah, do the door you're by. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will make sure it's safe, or try to, with a, uh, I guess, perception or investigation. Uh, yeah, I'll accept either. Good, because I am up. Neither work. Seems it's safe. perfectly safe. Oh yeah. I'm opening the door. I'm opening the door. Oh. Uh, just a spiral staircase crammed with crud that's fallen down and filled this to be non-usable. Why'd you say, oh? I thought it was something else. Oh, what is it? It looks like a crowded, it looks like a staircase that's been crowded, crowded over by, by uh, dirt. Oh, so it's useless. I thought it was a propeller. Okay. Swords don't have propellers. I know. I thought maybe that was where they would, you know, throw the bodies or something. Oh, a chopping propeller. Yeah. All right. I'm going to check this door. Uh, what did you say? Investigation? Uh, or perception. Perception? Yeah. Uh, I'm more perceptive than I am investigative. And look, unless we're getting into something weird, you can just assume Rizal's giving you... And so he doesn't have to be clicking for every single time. Okay. I mean, is that fair to say, Rizal? I don't know. That's absolutely fair to say. Okay. Okay, so a 14. 14 seems safe. This one seems safe, guys. This room... Do it. Consider oh. me a guidance spot. <laughs> there you go. An upside-down table sits in the middle of this room, and books are scattered around it clinging to the bowed outer walls and upside down fireplace. Along that same wall is a window with nothing but hard packed earth beyond it. Hey Mungo, more books. What's this picture? I'm grabbing these books. I want She's books. Not here, but that's kinda the table and the upside down fireplace and the walls a little bit. All right, you're okay. looking at these books. All right, let's tell you about um. Oh, look, there's a book with a picture of a skull. That's cool. I, I mean, you don't have to uh, do this every time. What? Or, like, if the book thing is, like, I don't need a book. There's books that come with this room if you want these. I'm not making them up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, books, no, oh, okay. I'll totally then, yes, I do. Them. All right. Well, you find a couple a couple full books that you can add to your collection. One is Ajamar's Guide to the Fantastic with a PH. Uh, and another one called The Unfettered Mind. Hmm. That one sounds interesting. I always felt like my mind was kind of fed. Yeah, I do keep that one. Do you... There are little descriptions of what these books are about, uh, but you can always look in your inventory and check those out if you don't need to tell you about them right now. Unless there's something uh, relevant. I'm just going to start a library. All right. These, uh, these inbred hillbillies who live up here need to learn how to read. All right, so if Mungo is just picking up... These I ice the billies. All right. I know, I know, yeah. I know of no one named Billy. <laughs> and lucky you. I'm gonna open this door. All right, collapse staircase. Is that the uh, you find staircase? a body, a skeletal Ooh. body, tat in tattered robes, like having run down the staircase while it collapsed. One of its. Uh, go ahead. I was going to say, interesting. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I, no, no, I, no, you go ahead. I, I was probably telling you too much. Oh, uh, I was going to search the body, investigate the body, okay. or per perceive the body, ideally. Sure. I sure. got I to run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Sure. 
Uh, well, no roll needed. I mean, the, what's sticking out of the rubble is, is pretty clear. Uh, I mean, just ropes. You're not finding any significant. Uh, but you notice that one of his fingers is broken off and missing. Oh. Mm. He had a ring. That's my theory. Mm. Anything of anything of interest or use to 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 uh, to take. Uh, give me any information about this place like any insignias or anything like that um hmm give me a history check hmm 13 13 hmm uh kick <laughs> The, okay, you see a symbol on, uh, like, the collar of his shirt, maybe. Mm -hmm. And it's familiar, but not. I mean, it looks... You feel like you've seen it before, but not from training. Maybe... G give me an insight real quick. Twenty. Okay, Twenty. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it's clearly... You don't remember this from the past. This was a symbol you just saw on one of the books that Mungo grabbed up. Okay. I'm going to rip a piece of... I'm going to rip the cloth so I can carry it with me. Okay. And then as uh, as I get close to the... Uh, close to the rest of the group, I say to Mungo... Um, there's a dead body in that room, and he had this symbol on his collar. It looks like it's part of. It looks like it's one of the books you're carrying. And Mungo's peeing, so he doesn't hear you. Mm. Speaking of which, yeah, let's make it. All should, I was. Let's all <laughs> you're ahead of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's all take a break. We'll just come back after that, and Mungo can tell us all about it. Sounds good. All right, cool. Everybody else gone? Taking a break? Take it by. Just be here by myself.
You sound pensive. Well, I just finally read the page that I looked up and someone said that according to sage advice, potions do ping magic. All right, well, we'll do that going forward. Okay. Um, what is what is there is sage advice a specific thing like there's a sage advice column yeah like people always have questions and i think normally it's just they tweet at crawford or something and then he'll end up posting to say well, i don't know where it gets posted i wonder if it's just a website that puts together all of his tweets clarifying things his rulings. Yeah, but it's sageadvice.eu. Okay.
I'm back. Welcome back. Uncle. Yeah, I'm also back. Oh, you know what? I have this feature. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you sitting there the whole time? <laughs> that's funny. Yes. <laughs> I said a few times that I was here. Oh, that's funny. I, didn't I guess no, maybe no one else was here when I said I was here. <laughs> yeah, you were the first one back. I'm in. sorry. That's funny. No, that's my bad. I'm sorry. I was, and then I wasn't paying any attention, so. That's so funny. All right. We'll close that. All right. Well, we're back. Okay, that makes sense. All right. I think I'm ready. Back to where you guys are at. All right. Hell yeah. So you guys are in this room. What just happened? Oh yeah, Mungo found some more books, and that's about it. Upside down fireplace, another door to the left. What are you guys up to? I'm um, inspecting this door. All right. So I guess I'll do a perception. Yeah, do it. I continue to use Mr. Slacks as a human shield or a book shield. Oh, a natural 20. Mm. This one's definitely safe. All right. Let's go, folks. Oh, uh, it's nothing. You, all you guys here is let's go. And as he steps into the room, he doesn't finish his sentence. Slacks, you do finish your sentence, but you don't hear it. Okay. I clap my hands. Nothing. Pure silence. Whoa. Can I look out the door and still see them? Yeah. All right. Uh, what do I see inside the room? This room contains the shattered remain. Yeah. This room contains the shattered remains of a desk and some chairs. You quickly discover that all sound is muted here. Uh, any stuff? No, it's all trash. I, I rip a loud fart. I step out. Just to see. Everyone but Slacks hears you. Mm. Dang it. I step out and I go, that's a quiet room. <laughs> um, You can't make no noise in there. There's a busted desk and some busted furniture. 
I don't know, Mongo, if you want to look in there and see if you see anything, I couldn't find nothing. Oh, sure. I thought I, I have you on follow, but I will step in, give her the old once over. Oh, right. Yeah, no, nothing. Nothing, just a bunch of broken desk and wood and crap. No books or anything in here. Nice when he's in there. All right, guys, let's go down another hole. Going down another hole. We're hole people. I'm going to look down the hole first. You're looking down the hole first? Is that what you said? I'm looking down the hole first, yeah. All right. Well, it kind of curves off to the side, uh, but you just see more stone floors or ceilings. uh, Same as in here, just some rubble, nothing specific. Does it look like it's about 10 feet again? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. And I'm not doing damage or anything. But I'll say, Mungo, you hear the slightest noise. You hear, is that talking? You hear talking. Mm. Alright guys, you want me to go first? Again? You, you or me, either one. I'll go. Uh, there is a... Uh... What? Sounds like talking down there. On the other side of this hole? Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm. I'll go first. I'm ready. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go yet. Okay. I'm going to manifest my echo. I'll go first. And if there's some crazy shit back there, I'll just swap places with my echo and I'll be back here again. Okay. All right. So hang on a sec. Let me just get my echo. And I uh, concentrate and I envision one branch splitting off into two. And so I'm in my shadow slacks. go all right so i'll put shadow slacks right here so that i'm within 15 feet when i go through and i will go down the tunnel you drop down this chamber appears to have been a wizard's laboratory as evidenced by the upside down storage cupboards and empty shelves fastened to the walls The shattered glass and alchemical equipment strewn across the floor, and the arcane symbols painted on what is now the ceiling. In the middle of the space, five foot wide passageways punched through the ceiling and floor lead to other levels. Near them, a partially collapsed wall exposes a room that lies beyond. Is it safe? Do I hear any voices? Give me a perception. I gave it to Mungo because he's got that passive twenty or nineteen. Twelve. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, you pick up some noise to the north, behind that door, most likely. Hmm. Okay. Guys, come, but come quietly. Give me a stealth for that. Suck it, stuff. Suck it, stuff. Oh, <laughs> that's the quietest. All right. Nice. No, not not for you. Just for for him yelling up to you while he's down there next to the voices. At so, disadvantage, uh, I got an eighteen. Wow. What is the? Uh, what is the? Um, the whole the uh, combination to do a disadvantage roll? Should be hold Sorry. control. Oh, it just did disadvantage for me automatically. Oh yeah, if it's you, if it'll auto do that for your armor. Okay. Oh boy. Ay yeah 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 yeah. Clang down the hole. <laughs> okay. What the heck. Bounce on his way down there. Clang 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 clang. Hello. The, the door. <laughs> <laughs> the door to that room swings open. Who's this little face? 
Standing behind it is a man in a red robe and a floppy brown uh, wizard's hat. Does he look familiar? He does look familiar. He looks exactly like Dazan. Whoa, what I tell you? whoa, what? What are you guys doing down here? Dazan. Whoa, do we have we met? Yeah. I'm sorry, I... Is this thing easy to, enough to get down? Can I just come down? Yeah, you can just come down. Okay. I... Uh, look, I'm not yeah, who you, you were, think I am. I'm... I'm not Dazan. You were considering... Oh, you were gonna... Dazan was considering hiring us. At one point. Really? For what? For Who's Dazan? Again? Retrieving some stuff, but he didn't say what. Okay, so he trusted you? Uh, well, he, he the, same, the exact level of trust that I just described. He talked to us about hiring us to re re recover some stuff for him. He did not say what the stuff was. So well, shit. Okay. if you know him, that's how much he trusted us. All right, well, if I know me as much as I know him, which is a lot, I know that you probably wouldn't want to work with you, but, you know, I mean... I... Wait, wait, why? Well, no, not What's wrong work with, us? with you. I, I just, he keeps his cards close. At... Look, I'm not, I'm not him, you know, I'm trying to... I'm glad you guys are here, to be honest. Because you live in this kick-ass, uh... Upside sword in the tower. ground? Well, sword. Sword, sword, sword tower. Ground. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Well, I don't... He, he spends a second trying to imagine it being a sword. He's thinking that... He, he wipes that, that thought away. No, I, I'm not trying to live here. I'm trying to... I'm trying to be a real boy. Ah. That sounds so weird, saying it out loud. Uh, well, look, I mean, maybe we could help each other out. I'm... Well, what do you, what do you guys need? Maybe we could help you. Right, Kirintas? Uh, sorry, just to back up. Mongo, uh, Dazan is the guy who you met on the road who was going to hire you, but he had hired someone else, and so he said no. And then... I, I killed him in East Haven, right? Yeah, because you tried yeah, to save he, him. He was, yeah. he was burnt at the stake. He was the wizard that you guys tried to save, but oh, he just wouldn't that want to share his, his information. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what brings oh. you guys down here? I mean, maybe we could work together. It's a distinct possibility. Um, we are down here mainly for curiosity's sake. We found a hole. We went in the hole. Here we are. Amazing, right? And from, I scratch my ear. Is there more to this place? From Netheril. I mean, this is crazy. Have you seen anything like this stuff? No. I, that's what but I'm the saying. The fire goes it's... upside down. That right? They, they knew magic. Fuck this dude. was this shit is from before the spell plague, man. This is back when spells went up to fourteen. Wow, it's that's pretty tall. That, oh, yeah. All right, so I, sometimes I get ahead of myself with how much I know about. It is, it's amazing. Uh, you guys are just poking around. You have no idea what you're looking at. This is the remnant of a tower of a of a floating city. It's more than it's. I don't even know how many hundreds of years old this thing is. You should be amazed. Pretty amazed. I mean. Look at these fucking holes, man. Something was really strong to make these holes in the ground and the ceiling. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know, I don't know about that, but but let us down here pretty easy. Yeah. Well, shit. I mean, if you guys are just here, I'm trying to figure out what, what we can do for each other because I kind of need a favor and maybe you guys have something going on that I could help you out with. Well, what do you need? Well, 
All right, so, like I said, I'm not the Zan, right? I'm, I'm a simulacrum, right? He's duplicated me, but I'm not my called own it. person. What were you gonna say? I said, called it. <laughs> called it, yeah. I'm not. I don't have a life spark, you know. I'm not an original person, so I can't. But the good we're gonna, news we're gonna is, have to get the all spark. I, we we'll have to look. wage war on the Autobots. We might not have to <laughs> wage war on the Autobots, is what I'm saying, though. Because, <laughs> look, <laughs> this back when Dazan was here, we found, look, the whole point of this spire was to create real things from fake things. Downstairs, there's, there's an arcane landing that I think could give me a life spark but i can't activate it without a life spark you know like so that duplicates can't keep making duplicates okay so just to be clear was the original the one that was killing people out in the tundra i i don't know about killing people i didn't i didn't kill anybody yeah you did Right. You're a clone of another guy. He killed I, people. I do have some good right. news for you, though, Dazan, too. What's that? You'll help? You are, you are now the one and only Dazan. Oh. What do you, What happened? What do you mean? Well, we were traveling through... Um, where was that? Care? East Haven. It was East Haven. Yeah. When we were in East Haven, uh, the... Um, the townsfolk there had captured the other Dazan, the, the Dazan that we know. Um, and they had him tied to a stake, and they were just about to set fire to him when we got there. And we tried to talk them out of it, and we tried to get him to help us talk them out of it. And Dazan was more interested in not divulging information than saving his own life. And they burned him. And it was a whole town. We couldn't stop him. It was a whole freaking town. Yeah, I guess that's unfortunate. But, I, I mean, I guess I get it to an extent. I mean, uh, we've got some people trying to beat us to the punch in a lot of this stuff. And I, we didn't want freaking Valin or Avarice to find this before we did. I, I get, I get, well, I don't know why he'd want to kill himself, but I understand. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Do you fear death? Uh, I mean, I didn't really think about it. I feared not having life, but now that you bring it up, yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess death is worse than this weird purgatory that I'm in. Why do you ask? Is it is it possible that the one who was burned at the stake was also what was the word you said a sim a simulimitum sim, a simile? simulacrum? A, I wouldn't simulac think so. Simulacrum. Although I mean, I guess a simulacrum could cast a simulacrum spell. Could you? If I had one, we used the last one. Okay. I heard you mention Valin. We've had a run in with her before. Oh, you know Valin? Fucking bitch. She's kind of a bitch. Yeah. I mean, what? She's just brought up on the Harple family. She's been just oh, living off of the name. She's got no good magic to herself. Me and Ness, we're the better. I mean, I'm better than her, but. Why am I. <laughs> you got me a little bit loose lipped here. All right. Well, can we work something out? I mean, I just need you to press the button. That's all I need, and then you can you don't have to see me again. Unless you want to. Uh, well, what's, well, let's see if our 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 end goals are aligned. We We would like to um eliminate the Durga. Okay. Does that sound like a good idea to you? Um, I mean, I, 
I don't see a reason why not to. Do they have magic stuff? Probably. Okay, yeah, we should definitely kill them and take their magic stuff. Yeah. So you're down with that? I'm so down with that. That's what you guys are down with? I'll kill some Durger. What do you all say? Uh, I don't like the idea of uh, associating with a guy who previously was killing people out in the wilderness, like hiring them and then just killing them. Whoa. Well, I had nothing to do with that, guys. Come on. That was him. Yeah, but you're a clone of the guy who did. But before he did that, I've lived a totally yeah. different life since then. How, how long have you been alive without him? I, I mean, less than a week, but like... Oh, yeah. There you go. He's a totally different person. He's basically lived a elementary school lifetime. Guys, so, I don't know. I mean... I am infinitely, or I am, I am eminently aware of death. I oh. carve the runes. I carve the runes of the dead of my tribe. And I will tell you one thing that I've learned, mm. and that is, that is, the death spark, or the spark of life, cannot be created but it can be transferred. I don't trust you. I think that you're going to steal one of our life forces for yourself. Guys, I... Uh, I get your worry, for sure. I mean, coming from where I've come from, I get your hesitation. I That's don't... a lot of words for someone in melee range. Uh, well, can I can I take an insight check to see how he responds to uh to what Stonegrave just said? Sure. And like, you know, if he's bullshitting us or not? Sure. Uh twenty? A twenty. Okay. Uh I mean he's definitely trying to make light of it, because obviously he's trying to convince you guys and persuade you to help him, but as far as he's aware He's not necessarily trying to steal. He's not necessarily trying to put anybody in danger. Well, who are you talking to in there? Krintas. Krint, so Krintas come, is in there. Come say hello. Why doesn't Krintas push the button? Krintas is dead. He doesn't have a life spark either. Krintos comes out. This is the figure that you'd seen in a hood, uh, but now his hood is pulled off. You see he's a white. He's just a, a total undead figure. I don't think I have a picture of him. No. Shit. Yeah, he is all the way dead. Well, except that he's not, except that he's walking around. Right. He just, but he doesn't have a life spark. So, I wonder if I used my shadow to push the button. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we can try. I, look, I really appreciate you guys helping me out here. I mean, if that's how it goes, I, I'm just I'm trying to be hospitable. You know, we didn't come out swinging or nothing when we heard you guys climb down here. And look, I'll even tell you if you help me out. Well. I well I want to know if you're going to help me out or not but I, I got some information that could help you for sure guys I I'm, I'm having I don't trust them but I'm not going to I'm going to let y'all decide this I personally don't sense any ill will in him I don't care if we work with him or not he's a means to an end so that's the way you want to go, Mr. Slax. We can do that. I want to know what you know about Zodorok Sunblight. So who the heck is that? Okay, good. Uh, that's that's the Durger that we want to kill. Oh. Alright, yeah, fuck that guy. I don't know. I don't know that guy, if I'm being honest. Never heard the name. Insight check. Alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's telling the truth. Okay, good. So, we got a deal? Well, what's the deal? What can I do for you guys if you guys press the button? I'd be forever indebted to you because I'd be a real boy at that point. I'd have my whole life to pit. Not that it would take that long. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to be helpful. What can we, what can we work out here? How about a vow that you would never oppose us? A vow, oh my God. Uh, okay. I mean, okay. Uh, yeah, probably not. I feel like we could, we could take care of what we want to take care of ourselves. Okay. You seem like a, you seem have... like a, a fairly significant, uh, significant, significantly powerful dude. Uh, I would not want to be on opposite sides of you. Okay, I, I appreciate that. I mean, say, one other question. Yeah. Are, is your ma is your magic able to locate individuals? <laughs> a member of my tribe has been lost. <laughs> Do you have a way that you can find them? That's a good question. I, you know, I'm sure that I could probably figure it out. Um, hang on. I need to look down some routes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I could definitely do that. So if we could have your word that you won't uh, ever oppose us or attack us and a little assistance in locating somebody, I think we could give you the assistance you want to become a real boy. Hey, now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm good with that. So, so we're good? I mean, we both came all the way here just for to meet up like this. It's kind of kismet. Uh, yeah. Right? Like the gods uh, willed it or some shit. Good. What do you think, Rizal? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of undecided, to be honest with you. Something just seems, something just seems wrong here, but at the same time, I don't know. Like the fact that he's pallet around with an undead. <laughs> the mean, fact that his the thing he's cloned from killed a bunch of people. I'm not so much more. Also, if he's able to make a simulacrum, how is he not? How did he get captured by a bunch of yokels in a town? That's a good question. There's a lot of yokels there. That's a good question. We don't know what they all could do. A wizard is powerful, but they're not infinitely powerful. Yes. One like, fireball and you're going to blow up. I mean, but do yes, a lot of that, damage. That is a fact, but anytime they're concentrating on a spell, all you have to do is poke them with a stick and they'll just stop. So, mm, and they're squishy. And they're squishy. Their whole undead nature does make me uneasy. I mean, it's just kind of an abomination to nature to defy death like that. I don't like to but... judge anybody by their friends. <laughs> I've been friends with some fucked up people. Um. Alright, guys. Just cause, so I'm being completely clear. I can definitely do that for you. Uh, but I don't have my spell book. Um, there it is. Mm. Where's that? Well, look, I... I, I the Zan took it. But we could probably get it back. I mean, where did... Shit. He was in East Haven, and they set him on fire. If he had his book on him, it went on fire. If he didn't have his book on him, then the people in East Haven probably have it. And if you show up there, they're going to set you on fire. Okay. They're going to be like, shit... I don't know, isn't there, uh, like, double jeopardy or something? Can't be tried for the same crime yeah, twice? Yeah, like Ashley Judd. I, I think it would be more what? like, uh, no, that's the movie. Yeah, oh, sorry. With Ashley Judd, yeah. Um, no, yeah, I what think it would Ashley be more Judd like, did. oh, shit, the wizard that we thought we killed is back. Let's make sure we kill him real good this time. Oh, shit, the wizard. 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, want, like that. I don't want like none that. of that. I mean, especially if I'm gonna be a real boy, I don't want to be a dead boy. And they'll be like, "Oh no, he brought his undead friend. Let's kill that one too." Well, this whole part of this whole point of this life spark is to bring you back to life, right? So that you're no longer undead. Right. Well, I'm a simulacrum. Trintas is undead. I mean, you're... I'll be a real person. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Can't you start a new book? Yeah, but I gotta copy that stuff down from somewhere. Hey, he's not right. a cool sorcerer like me, man. Is there some stuff in here? Take take all the pages you could find and copy shit. I don't know. Yeah, we've been digging through it. There's no magic spells. How long have you been a freaking wizard? I mean, how long was Dizan a wizard? Well, long enough to get to a high... <laughs> a long time. I'm one of the oldest. So then how come... Then how come you don't remember any of the wizards, the wizard shit? Because I don't just know all the stuff. It's only what I got prepared. I can only fit so much in my head. That's why we got books to begin with, man. Uh, I, I, I beg to differ. Can you I keep carry learning a million swords? Can you carry, a, like, 20 swords on your back? I can visualize 20 swords, and then I can visualize 20 more. So my brain can hold a lot of swords. Don't great Why can't you actually. visualize more words? God. I think I might be doing it right now. Uh, come on. Yeah, come on. Uh, you're comparing muscle to, to the brain. I, uh... Okay, so when I learn new techniques, I don't forget my old techniques. What the fuck is wrong with wizard brains? I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm sorry you're disappointed. I just don't remember it. It's just weird. Yeah. Is it magic shit? Is that why? Because it's magic shit? I guess. I thought it was just... I, Usually why. Yeah, you know what? It's not. It's nothing to do with limitations in my brain. It's some sort of magic shit. Some sort of god decided there's a limit to what I can do. And I just run into those boundaries all the time. Oh, see, that I can understand. That makes perfect sense. Okay, see, yeah. So that. Fucking gods. Fucking gods. That's what I'm. I'll be a god one day. Oh. Mm. All right. Then yep. the other Don't thing like I want sentence. you to to do is remember our names in a good way. I do not like that sentence. <laughs> remember your names in a good way. All right. Yeah. Well, shit. I mean, you're yeah. gonna be you your know, parents if, in a way. If, yeah. If you reach when God, you're, when you're when you're thinking of uh, who you want wish to wipe your wipe your bottom, think of us. Not us. No. You said in a good way. Oh, in a man. good way, not wiping ass. You weren't way. specific enough. I didn't oh, think about that. You. I'm going to be able to wipe my ass now. Well, I could wipe it now. There's just for no reason. Wait, you don't have to eat? <laughs> no, I don't poop. So if we give you the spark, <laughs> then you can poop? That's a... <laughs> so he's... So wow. he's been alive. Aww. He's been alive got... for a week. I can picture it now. We're gonna give him the spark, and then he's just gonna have a week of shit just build up. And he's just gonna let it out. Has he been the... eating? <laughs> the spark of incontinence. Oh my god! <laughs> nah, I don't I got like a solution to the real problem. Oh, crap! Now you're bringing up some yeah. real downsides to this, but nah, I made up my so you mind. Don't gotta... You don't got to. That's why you, you become shit. a lich, buddy. And you, and you want to change this? What I look, I'm. What I don't know, I don't know the whole extent of what I can't do, but I know that I can't do a lot. Not being a real person, I can't learn new. Oh. I can't learn new spells. Did a wizard wish that Mungo never has to poop again? Oh. I mean, I don't know. So, if I had a wish spell, so then I what could... the hell are you saying? You wish you would never have to poop again? You just say you don't have to poop now. It just what are you talking about? You said we make signals. Mongo, I don't have to. Sometimes I think you just talk to talk, Mongo. <laughs> I don't have to. I like to. <laughs> <laughs> what greater joy is there, truly? <laughs> oh my god! What do you do on a Saturday night? Mm, poop. Yeah. All right. All right. So look, I, I'm still happy to help. I, I'll I'll do a locate. We just gotta find my book. Uh, I'll even owe so now you. Now we gotta push a button and yeah, find a book. I, hear, I get it. We're adding more and more on. Uh, 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 uh. Did you just call him a moron? No, no, no. You 
misheard me. Uh, whoa, I got invisibility. I could be invisible. I could go get it. You just tell me where it's at. East Haven. Okay, but where? Uh, well, once you're there, can't you just cast the locate spell? No, I got it. Inside Well, no, Haven. I got to get the spell book to do the spell. Mm. So well, we don't have a locate spell either. Yeah. All right. Boom, boom. Well, okay, look, we I'll can, take it upon can... myself to find it. You just got to wait for me to get it, and then I'll, I'll do the stuff. All right. We can get you to real boy status. All right. We can do that shit today. Hell yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm down. All right. Down? Everybody's down? Well, whatever you say, boss. No betrayers? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, look. Nope. Uh, that's it's good to be friends because uh, there's some sort of creature down there. Just give you the where? heads up, huh? Where? Right down, th right through the next hole, and the we might uh, be able to dodge around it and get through the door. A big creature, or a little creature. Uh, it's kind of small, but look, I'm not fucking around. It's a basilisk. Oh, oh wait, what's, what's a basilisk? I ain't oh, never no. fought a basilisk. It's like, um, if it's like Medusa had a pet. They turn you to stone, don't Who's they? Who's Medusa? Yeah, it's right. Uh, st she likes to petrify people. Turn them to turn stone. Turn you to stone. That's right. Oh, God. I wish I remembered. It would continue that joke. What are the um the, the ones that look like uh, oxes? Minotaur? They also do that. No, they also do that. Oh, God. Look like oxes. Oxes. Oxen? They look like oxen, you mean? Oh, gosh. The plural of ox is oxen. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. What kind of writer are you? <laughs> nah. I bet you say octopuses, too. <laughs> so, what's in the behind this door? Uh, I don't know. Open, open it and look. Not a basilisk. Curiosity. Another still oh, yeah, the stairway. It's the only door you didn't yeah. check. It explodes. <laughs> no, it's another stairway. It's the exact stairway you peeked fall, into before. Everyone dies. It's past the hole, yeah. there's another room you guys haven't looked. A at gorgon. Anything. Gorgon. Oh uh, yeah, the gorgons. It's called a gorgon. The gorgons. There you go. All right, I'm going to bring so, my shadow slacks down here. Can you move my shadow yeah, slacks down here? Yeah, that's gorons. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gorons. So basilisks can turn people to stone. Yeah, but don't worry, I'm mostly liquid. Is there a way to defend against that? That you know about, um, Simulcrum guy? Uh, I mean, it's it's if you look into its eyes, then it'll do it. I mean, so don't look into its eyes. That's all. I yeah. We can save against it. I wonder if I actually ever took blind fighting. I know I was gonna looking at that um first level. Yeah, thing. I thought about it too, but man, I didn't take anything at first level that I know of. Like that extra ability or whatever it was, because we got a feat at first level. So I figured that would be uh. OP, so I don't think I took it. Nope, I do not have blind fighting. I was going to take it again. I was going to take it later because it's useful for shadow slacks later, but I didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can close your eyes. Hey, that's not going to work too good, fighting with your eyes closed. What are they vulnerable to? Uh, not, not, not that I'm aware of anything. Do they go on fire? Do they go on fire? I guess. Like if I threw alchemist fire on it, would it burn? I don't. I don't know of a reason it wouldn't burn. I don't know if that's enough information. 
fucking basilisk, man. Yeah, it's true. Sorry, what kind of firepower are you bringing here? Me? Yeah, you. What kind of firepower am I bringing? Let's let's look. He's got those great eyes for looking directly at the uh, basilisk, so it can't look at us. Hey, come Mr. on now. I close my eyes. All right, well, I got some magic missiles. I got a phantasmal force. I could be invisible. That's what I did last time. Oh, yeah. God. Can you oh, hold the creature? So be invisible and just stab it in the brain. Make one of these guys invisible. Let them stab it in the brain. Well, I mean, I'm happy to, yeah, if you want. But I don't know if you'll get it in one shot. You'd have to crit it in one in that one move. Uh, if I go down there with my shadow slacks and I go and stand behind it, and then put my shadow slacks in front of it to attack it. Then even if it looks at my shadow slacks, my shadow slacks doesn't get, isn't going to turn to stone. It's just going to, and I'll just make another one. Okay. There you go. Well, what's the plan? You're just going to send a guy down there. Yeah. No, just I have to go sending, down there too. Uh, I have to, I have to see what's going on. Oh. Crap. Okay. I can't right. just I can't just send my shadow down there by itself. It, 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 I need to to do in my head what it does with itself. It's like an extension of me, of my so, will per se. So I have a theory, or I have an idea. Um, we have shields, right? I got or, a shield. Or Some well, I'm carrying a, I'm carrying a bunch of shields. So oh, yeah. what I wear a shield. Is, I use a shield all the time. I was thinking I could equip a shield and a spear rather than my halberd, and we can. I could use the shield to block my eyes. I mean, if we both do that, we might be able to get him. Um, what if we just made a reflective shield? Can I mean, that, would, that bad boy. That would be good. That could be interesting. Looks at its own eyes and turns itself to stone. Mm. Yeah, that's clever. That's the Medusa story. That's the Medusa. Just like story. my ex-wife. Your ex-wife oh, is oh, petrified. Oh. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. She did it to herself. Oh. Oh. Mom, do oh, you really have an actually... ex-wife, or is that just a joke? You know. Ah, uh, just making a joke. Okay. Actually, I I'm, only I'm... Wife, one wife for me, sir. What, Stonegrave? I was going to stick to the weapon I have because it's got the runes on it, so mm. I don't want to swap. Does uh, that reflective surface, would that work on them? What reflective surface? That uh, Stonegrave was referring to. Oh, no, Mungo was referring if, to. There isn't a surface. He was just pitching, turning the shields reflective. I don't know if you could polish it that well, but you got, I don't know, I'm open to thoughts on how you get that done. Are there any mirrors around here at all? Mm. Pseudo design. Are there any mirrors around here at all? Uh. Make <laughs> Richard is like, uh, basilisks aren't that deadly. We could just go fucking destroy. You've dealt with them before? I mean, Richard has. Mungo <laughs> hasn't. <laughs> ah! I know what to do. I'd like to make a check of some sort. No, uh, yes, I would. All right. Mungo's read a book or two. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one of these intelligence ones I do. I don't know anything. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to make a, a... How about Arcana or Nature or what do you want? Uh, nature to know about the basilisk. Oh, why do I have, uh, don't know why I rolled twice, but my first one was a 20. Your first or we can one have the second sure one. was a 20. All right. Um, I mean, what are you trying to find out? How easy they are to fight? Yeah, I'm just trying to get a general, like, okay, what are we talking here? We need to be full health and 
for all spell slots and we already are that we're, we're risking one of us dying just by being in the same room at it as it like we should all just start writing our last will and testament just in case if any or of us get like turned a, to stone yeah can we get turned to unstone i would think so i mean you'd have um, to fix you'd have to fix that you'd have to have something that removes the petrified condition like killing it maybe no, I know uh, no, some of the more powerful way. some of the more powerful druids in my order had an ability to do it but I'm not skilled enough for that there is You're a way but skilled it, enough yet yet right I don't have yeah. that ability yet but there is a way but it's I don't think it's an ability that any of us possess at this point in time the simulcrum might I have a uh, I say we go down there. I do have a trick up my sleeve yeah. that I'll pull out Let's if I need it. it. Let's do Let's it. Let's go. Oh, wait, I do want to try one thing before we do that, though. Sure. Um, I'm going to take my shield, right, just to test it out and see if, this, uh, if anything happens. And I'm going to take my water skin and start to pour out water, and I'm going to cast Shape Water, form it around my shield, and then turn it to ice and see if that's reflective at all. That's cool. Hmm. Okay. I don't know how reflective ice is. If it's a bunch of it, I don't know. I'm just testing it to see. Yeah. I mean, you can make ice really reflective, but you know, if your shield is black, it would work. Ooh, Ooh. Be... I can actually or a solid color. I feel like, and I'm open to other pitches, but I'm thinking like maybe an arcana check because you're like, it's not necessarily knowing about magic, but you're like using the magic to make the frost. I don't know. That's just my first pitch. Ooh. Unless you have other ideas on what, on what way you're trying to polish it. I wasn't gonna. I was just gonna form like a layer of ice on the shield. Would that make it reflective? What I'm thinking is putting it behind a roll. I mean, I think you're onto something that could make it reflective, <clears throat> but then bringing some random into that. So like maybe okay. a sleight of hand to polish it, or or just some other skill check to get it really, really reflective. I'll try it just to see if it, if if it's if it works at all. Okay. All right. Um, sleight of hand, you said. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, where's my sleight of hand? There it is. And then hold on, let me add my. Uh, eh, it's kind of weak, but let me just add my D four just for shits and giggles. Get some shiggles. Oops. I think I hit the wrong... Wait, what the hell? Wait, how do I unclick Both when I... Gets. Okay, there we go. So right None click. of the shiggles. Wait, why is it not saying... Where's the roll dice button? Oh, it's hidden behind my taskbar. <laughs> uh, 12? No, unfortunately it's not shiny enough. Okay, so look I at have... it. I don't really see a reflection. Eh, that, that could I, work. I have an idea. It's faint. I have, Smith, I have Smith tools. Can I polish... Can I try to polish a shield... To, to mirror to mirror shine. I said, I don't think we have to do this. I think we just go down there and start killing. I don't think we have time for polishing a shield. You, you guys are such murder hobos. Why are we? Why are we trying to well, nuance the solution? All right, well, I just travel with murder hobos. Let's give Stonegrave some sure. sort of roll just to see what happens, and then we will call it there, and we'll go down there. Uh, all right. Uh. What kind of roll? Girl, that's um, gonna uh, take hours. Gonna Mon out. Mungo, Mungo is is <clears throat> somewhat apoplectic, and it's like I just I've never seen such a bunch of lummoxes trying to creatively solve a problem. It's yeah, a she, hammer, or sorry, it's a nail. Use a hammer. She's gonna take like a little bit of sandpaper <laughs> and kind of go, psh, 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 psh. and then she's That'll gonna go, it. and then she's gonna go. This won't work. I'm going in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Hey, we had a five minute conversation about poop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So hang on. Just I'm gonna, the first person to jump down will start the initiative. So just. Oh. All right. Well, uh, uh, Some of going to yeah. ride upon whoever it is. Let's. Um... All right. Stonegrave. Let's uh, let's rock paper scissors for it. High roll, roll uh, six sided die. 
Bye. Whoever, whoever gets. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped down. Like, you're, you're sitting out there throwing rock, paper, and he just jumps down the hole. <laughs> He's yelling, scissors! <laughs> yeah. I win. Son of a. All right. Great. All right. Jumping down the hole. Too. Don't do it. No, no, no. Yet. You can't. You're not allowed okay. to. Okay. The initiative. You got to roll right. again. You got to wait. All right. Hang on. Um, oh, boy. But in uh, RP, that's what I do. Son of a fucking bitch, and I run for the hole. So, you want me to roll initiative? Yeah, or... everybody get into initiative. One guy, for some reason, can't see. You can't see. Oh, it. I can't if I click on myself. Never yeah, mind. There you go. Mungo's got to click on himself before he can see. Nice roll, Stonegrave. Oh, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Hell yes. All right, and that's, when you that's partly why Stonegrave was able to jump in so quick. What were you saying, Rizal? I uh, was just saying, especially when you're the first one in, you want to have that initiative. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. All right. Oh, and actually it works out story-wise, too, because I jump right back down it after and get ahead of the <laughs> that fast list, too. That's perfect. Nice. All right, let's pick a good one. Um... Mm-hmm. Eh, good basilisk. Let's go, little song, basilisk. Fight song, fight song. Thorax. Oh, you want some oh, thorax? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I have it. No, not queued up. No, I can get us some thorax later. Okay, this is good. Oh, I recognize this from Critical Role. Battle horns. Oh, do they do this I'm on Critical? It's one of the better ones. Yeah. They do. That's funny. Well, that means I've picked the, the right kind of media. The other the other big shots are picking the right stuff. All right, great. Uh, oh, yeah. This is some Captain Kirk fight music. <laughs> All right. St- Stonegrave, you've jumped down this hole. You land on the bottom floor, lurking out from behind this table. Well, I guess I'll move it to there is this six-legged basilisk. It looks up towards... Wait. Are you looking at it? Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, so you're, you've got your eyes closed. Um, it's my turn, right? Yeah. You know what? I need to see it to kill it. Well, so you, can, not... you can swing at it with your eyes closed at disadvantage, if that's what you want. Or looking at the ground. Ooh. Yeah. Either way, it's disadvantage, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? <laughs> what? Just start swinging that axe blindly. I'm going you know? to do something stupid. Here we go. Hell ready? yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to... Keep my eyes closed. Okay. And I'm going to grapple it. <laughs> no. no. Better, better. I'm going to shove it. Or I'm going to try to shove it. In the, why, the reason I want to do that is because I want to knock it prone. So I think shove is an athletics check, right? Yeah. An opposed athletics end. check. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Although it's uh, it's still at a disadvantage if you're not looking at it. Because it's still um, a melee thing you're doing. Right. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll roll a disadvantage. It's fine. All right, you're uh, still going to grapple? Yep. Okay, so this is the first roll, and here's the second roll. That's that 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 that, that wasn't good. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, I'm just gonna remove the blinded, so that you can actually see what's going on. Uh, but hold control when we do stuff, or when you do something okay. with disadvantage going forward. All right, great. So you you lunge out trying to shove this thing, uh, but it kind of backs up behind the table. Uh, you're not able to make contact with it. It whips around at you, trying to stare at you, but you you're avoiding eye contact. Uh, anything else? That's an action. Uh, I don't want to waste it. I was trying to think if I want to get big or not. I think I'm good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold. Stay where I am. All right. All right. Slacks. Guys, I tried to cuddle it. I tried to cuddle it. It didn't work. <laughs> Slacks is going down the hole. 
Vroom. Uh, and do I know I put this thing on so you can stand in the same block, but do try to move off of each other's blocks. Dun, dun, dun. Here. Here. I'll move. Uh, so I'm behind move. it. I could move here if you want me to. Uh, okay, so I can jump away. down the hole. Yeah. All sense. right, and um, I'm gonna move Shadow Slacks down here too. I have 30 feet of movement with movement with him per turn. Okay. Do you need me to do that? Yeah, I can't see him because yeah. I'm already down here. Yep. All right. Good. So Shadow Slacks will go right here. So I am going to look at the Basilisk from behind. Fuck. Okay. And I'm going to attack it with Shadow Slacks. Let's see, that would be Alt click and attack. Yes. Oh, 22. Yeah, 22, yeah. Shadow Slacks swings out at this thing. Longsword coming down. Damage. Ah, uh, not a big damage. All right, and I am going to uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Unleash incarnation and attack again. Seventeen hits. hits. Yep. Damage. Yeah, there we go. That's a good amount of damage. All right. Hell 11 yeah. Eleven more damage. And Mr. Slax is going to close his eyes and end his turn. All right. Ooh, that look at that fucking thing. That guy is Ugly. cool. A cool guy. All right. They. So wait. So it's got eight legs. Oh, I guess it's eight. I said six. I just miscounted. Yeah, it's got eight. Each one more sexy than the last. That changes things. This isn't a bug. It's a spider. Spider basilisk. Spider basilisk does whatever oh, a spider basilisk. Terrifying. All right. Uh, it is its turn. It swings around at Mr. Schlax, trying to make eye contact, but you're closing your eyes. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, it's like I want to hit you because your eyes are closed, but it's really not smart. Yeah, I mean, Shadow Slack is the last one to hit it, so I go for that. God damn it. Billy monsters. Oh, fuck. Okay. Poof. Uh, Any more than one point of damage and poof. Yeah, and I'd love to lie about this, but it accidentally got advantage for no reason, and so two is the first one, and it doesn't hit. All right, oh. that's the Basilix turn. Okay. What now? Basilix. That's Mungo. Uh, is it my turn? See. Oh, um, Stonegrave, do you have Sentinel? I don't. No? Okay. Well, Mr. Slax can't attack because it attacked somebody other than him because Shadow Slacks doesn't count as somebody other than him. Right. So I don't get a sentinel attack. <laughs> All right. And now Mungo, we are on you. Mungo will jump in the hole. Down the hole. And then he will take a step right there. And I don't... Oh, God, my apple hurts. Um, I don't think I need to be able to point at one creature you can see. No, oh, that I can see. No, oh, fuck it. Mungo might die. Let's fucking go. Uh, I cast Toll the Dead on this thing. And I look right at it. And I say, eat me. Okay. Then um, you should use your movement to turn around. <laughs> Mm. Fails the uh -huh. save, takes a full eight necrotic damage. Let me apply. Nice. It. 
it's starting cool. to bleed from its ears. <laughs> Blood splattered up here. <laughs> Oh yeah, it goes to all that. <laughs> so much blood. All right. What'd you do down there, Mongo? <laughs> Is that your full turn, Mongo? That's all the moves I can do. All right. All right. Well, you didn't close That's your it. eyes, and you said you look right at it. And he spins to you. Give me a petrifying gaze save. Let's fucking go, bitch. Oh no. No. Oh god, Hold you're on. you're. Start to crust over. You're restrained, but you're still good. You get another save on your next turn, but you are beginning to be petrified, unfortunately. What? God damn it, Mungo. Don't look. Don't look. Stop looking. I thought I had a thing. I don't see a thing. What? Favored by the gods. Once per short rest, if you fail saving throw or miss with an attack, you can roll 2d4 and add it to the total. Never gave me that option. Hmm. Yeah, and it, oh. it used to, right? Yeah. So my number was a ten. Can I um, just roll the favored by the gods right now? Yeah. Okay. Consume available usage. Consume resource. Usability. Did it do it? Hmm. Oh, I just rolled a 2B, 2D4 myself. Yeah, I popped it into the chat, but it didn't do anything. Yeah. I'll oh. add it to it in the future. Uh, four more. So a total of 14. Did that save me? Let's double check. Come on. Open up the thing. Open up the thing. 14? I no petrified girl. Oh, yeah. look at that. All right, give me some flavor on how you fight this back. Um, I, I I start to feel the petrification, and uh, a part of me just chunks off. I get I get visibly shorter, and that <laughs> part of me actually does get petrified. Okay, yeah, yeah. I like, oh look, little me clones, little me rocks. There we go. All right, all right. And so I'm like, you get one, and you get one, and you get one. You just barely make it without getting petrified. Uh, and now we're on Rizal. All right, that hole just straight drops, and when you drop, you're just hitting the ground, right? Yeah. Okay. But I haven't I'm been drop, doing damage going. or anything. Yeah. All right. This thing, oh, so this thing is already looking in my direction? We have it movement. Is yeah. Are you, Don't you're looking look. at it then, yeah, or? I mean, I just hit the ground, so I don't know what I'm looking at at this point. I mean, obviously, meta game, you know what's better or not. But like, would your character have like covered their eyes before jumping down, or jumped um, down and then decided to cover them or not? Honestly, I, I don't really know. I mean, they did warn him, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I would have landed and covered my eyes. Okay. I don't want to be cheap and meta game it, so I, I don't really, I don't know. Uh. What, so you're thinking my you're plan, leaning that if you're you not would sure, roll for it. I mean, yeah, I'm, like I know I have to land down there and not look at it. So I definitely am not going to just look around the whole room searching for it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's just say oh, with Mungo that, made it, you cool. Won't. You can look away. You, you can be looking away if that's what you choose. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even necessarily looking away. I'm more looking just down to the ground because I have the, because I am going to wild shape. Okay. Uh, be a, be a mole. They don't have eyes. <laughs> They've got that weird nose. They also uh, probably don't have much of an attack. It's true. Oh, 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 oh my god! I, know, I have blind sight, so I'm not going to use my eyes. As long oh, as I'm okay, that's smart. <laughs> that is smart. So my plan was kind of hit the ground and just wild shape. That's why I was asking about if it was a straight drop because I was going to try to go to the ceiling. Mm. But um, you don't think you would have like dropped down from web? It's okay. I'm reflavoring what you already said. Uh, hell yeah, you drop down. You change into this giant spider. What else you got? See, if I was smarter, I would have thought of that, but I didn't think of it. So, nah, it's okay. um, <laughs> and then I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try to web it. Oh shit! Wait. Let's see. Uh, I only have a web. Does it try have that? Then it just removed it from your version. Or... I didn't realize the spider was this big. 
<laughs> no, it's freaking huge. <laughs> well, it's a giant spider. It's not huge. Yeah, yeah, this is a giant spider. I shouldn't be huge, should I? Uh, it's large, yeah. And, I mean, just that the image overlaps the edges of the large token space. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Okay. So I'm trying to figure out why it takes away stuff. Like, it didn't give you the web when you morphed. Is that like... I have the web. It's just in my features, not in my inventory as usual. Oh, it's in feet. That's always what it is. Okay, yep, then go ahead. I don't have to change anything. Perfect. Giant right. spider mini. I don't know why that rolled an advantage, but it rolled 18 for both of them. Because... Shadow Slacks is flanking with you. Um, I, oh, I looked at rules. Shadow Slacks can't oh. flank. Okay, well, I rolled two 18s regardless, though. So. I mean, 23s, oh, wait, should I why say. Why are you at disadvantage? I'm trying to figure out. Uh, well, they're both, yeah, they're both 18, so that definitely hits. And you got a 10, and that fails, so it is webbed, I guess. So it shouldn't have gotten that save, according to this. It just says the target is restrained. As an action, the restrained target can make a DC 12 strength check. Oh, uh, I got you. Okay, and it just built that in there. Okay. So on their turn, he has to use an action to do that. I got you. So they're just restrained. Okay. And then, how high is the ceiling from here? Uh, well... I know it doesn't make sense because there's gaps between, but I was just going to say 10 feet. I mean, maybe 7 feet? All right. So then I'm going to crawl onto the ceiling directly above him. Okay. All right. Well, we just have to remember that. Yeah, okay. I'm just directly above him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's it for me. All right. Back around to stone grave. You could change your elevation to 70 instead of 80. Yeah, but I think that'll put his vision up into the next floor, unfortunately. Uh, or we could try it, but... So here's the deal. I'm going to go over here so I'm so I, I get flanking. Do I get flanking right now, or do I have to go over here? That's to go flanking. there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to look at him. I don't care. He's restrained, so you probably already have uh, advantage, right? Oh, possibly. If, but... if he doesn't look, then it's probably even. All right. So um, I just want to. I just. I'm. Lo I'm looking. I'm just going to kill this thing. All right. Looky, looky. Um, how can it turn if it's restrained? Oh. Huh. Eventually. Well, okay. So restrained, I don't think. I think restrained doesn't mean you can't move. Yeah, it just I think it means, means you, you can't. Well, you can probably turn, but you can't. You don't have movement to move around. Oh, okay. The twenty-three. Look at you. All right, no big deal. <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm gonna. Uh, all right. First up is I'm going to do, uh, great weapon attack. Next shot. And we're gonna swing the axe at him. Wait for the roll. Oh, that—that's just—that's not an actual roll. Oh, right. Sorry. It's okay. It's this. I mean, it pretends like it is. It acts like it's a real roll. I clicked on the halberd. Nothing happened. Oh, because I'm—I so don't have someone to probably target. lost the target I, after the first thing. Yeah. Okay, so Halberd. With advantage, <sighs> with the negative five, 16 hits the Basilisk. Go for damage. Holy shit, this is probably gonna take him all the way out. Nope, not all the way, but blood splatters, slacks behind him. The floor starts, he starts to drift from his stomach. Okay, so I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna swing the handle around and whack it into his brain. Oh shit. Second verse. Second verse, same as the first. Springs. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a uh, great weapon attack, and then we're going to do halberd. Uh, uh, bonus attack. Uh, yes. 
12 and then I missed. 12 misses. All right. It roars as it bleeds on the floor. Is that full turn? Uh, yeah, that's going to do it. <laughs> plus five is good. That's funny. All right. Slacks, you are up. All right. Uh, I will keep my eyes closed. Um, and so how does that I work? Would... If he keeps his eyes closed, but he has advantage because it's restrained, right. is it just so normal and out? Roll. It's just a straight roll, but it's going to auto the flanking. So make sure to hold control to cancel that. out. Okay. So control my back. There we go. And okay, inventory. Sword, control, click. 13 mm, misses. Claws at you, blocking the, so the sword attack. Shoof. Moving Action over, surge. Oh, surge. Action That's surge. Good. Okay, all right. Action surge. Oh, no. Oh. Again, the other way. Claw, claw, block, block. Wow. <laughs> Okay, anything else you got? How much you guys want to bet the wizard took off? <laughs> nah, he's still here. With our cart. He's got skin in the yeah. game. Yeah, he wants the real voice. Um, I'll unleash my incarnation and attack with Shadow Slacks. Bastard. I had logic that supported me attacking you next. All right. He's got advantage even though he's not flanking because he's restrained. He's flanking with you. Uh, no, no on I'm on ceiling. the ceiling. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yep. Although it's probably going to see it that way. There we go. There we fucking go. There's the pepper. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. What kind of damage we got? And give me the. F oh, that's not his full health. All right. He's still hanging on. Sick. He's All barely right. hanging on. Oh, I can notice he's barely hanging on. Sure. I can action search. I, I can unleash incarnation again. Okay, sure. Go for it. Yep. I got one left. Why the hell not? <laughs> See, I need to use him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know and... if you can. Whenever you take the attack action, you can make one additional melee attack. Uh, okay. Well, I, I did two attack actions, though. I did uh, action surge. Does it say as a bonus action? What are we saying? I see unleash our incarnation before the last longsword attack, and then now you're clicking it again. What happened? What did I do? Uh... Um, so let's see. Action surge. Let's see. Long sword. Action surge. One Long additional sword. action surge. You can take one additional action on your turn. Right. One additional. So I did two actions, so I should be able to do two I attacks. See three. I, I did... see. Long sword. Action surge. Long sword. Eight. Unleashed incarnation. Long sword. Now another unleashed incarnation. Am I looking at this wrong? I'm just scrolling up in the chat. You got first attack, action surged. Second, second attack, attack, both missed. Then you unleashed incarnation. So I can't unleash my incarnation two times for the two attacks that I did? Whenever you take the attack action. Okay, and yeah, I guess you're right. Nope. Yep. Action surge is an attack action. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, it all adds up. You're right. This, this goes for the second one. Okay. Sorry for questioning you, but that does make sense. No, it's okay. No, fair, fair enough, fair enough. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to cheat. Well, I wouldn't say you cheat, but yeah, I get it. Right. But You're I missed. Gonna win at D and D. <laughs> <laughs> After all that. All right, it's my boy's turn, but he has to attack. And I close my eyes. All right, you close your eyes. And Slacks closes his finish. eyes. Okay. Uh. Actually, Slacks never opened his eyes. All right, I know that there's logic that Shadow Slacks is the last person, but this spider's huge, so I'm gonna try to bite the spider. I'm on the ceiling. God damn it, you're right! You've told me that before. <laughs> Fuck! All right, fine, Shadow Slacks, goodbye. 
God damn it, this fucking so much for You can use your reason. roll on Shadow Slacks instead. Yeah, I am. This roll's better. And it's a nine. <laughs> Great. Oh, I can use that one? It, yeah. Yeah, it was your first attack roll. You can use it on Shadow Slacks All right, instead. Great. Here, I'll That's fair. He always gives us our first back one. For free. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, oh, then it's okay. It's not over. He's still alive, and you guys can kill him. Mungo, he's still barely hanging on. What are you doing about it? Uh, Mungo, in true M Mungoian fashion. Mungo uh, he's Mongolian fashion. <laughs> Mongolian. Uh, Mongolian. Uh, wow. He is going to target this That's the creature. No. Of course not. I actually didn't even think about it. It, it had nothing to do with that initially, That's honestly. Um, I, I didn't even realize. Uh, okay. It, it, it looks like a blood splatter now. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. We're going to hit Told the Dead for three damage. We'll see if that does it. <laughs> he had four. All right. He's so close. He's so close now. He lives. <laughs> just, I'm just pat. I'm just padding this fight. <laughs> all right. Resolve. Well, all my friends to get a turn. So we I'm going to crawl down right to where I was before. So right in front of him. Now he's still restrained. He didn't try to break it. So I have advantage. So is the advantage uh, the control or the alternate? Alt. Alt. Okay. Okay. Well, well I only rolled it speed, once. But... But I don't care. I'll just roll the damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that hits. Well, roll again, and we can see if he crit. Oh, that's now it rolls that, but it didn't crit. No. <laughs> just, just, oh, just it funny. automatically gave it to me. I see. Just eats him. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. That's piercing. De describe its death. That's it. That's it for it. Yo, like, the pinter in my in my tail, kind of like the Shelob from Lord of the Rings, just... Just guts right through it, and then like my I don't know what the hell this called because I don't know spiders, but like the things in the front, like my first arms or whatever, just rip into it, and I just kind of gnaw on it, and then I just web it up and toss it to the side. Oh my god, horrifying! All right, oh, what shooters? Fuck yeah! Oh there, you go. <laughs> like <laughs> pincers or whatever they have in the front. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I suffer. Yeah. Mandibles. Uh -huh. Mandibles. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the room is clear. Yeah, you guys alive down there? Fuck. Yeah, we're alive. Oh, hell yeah, all right. All right, I'm jumping down, watch out. Oh, holy shit, there's something else down there, guys! Holy shit! It's fine. Can you see it? Yes! Yeah, too? Giant spider! I think it's resolved. Yeah, I thought it was... I thought I was the only one who saw it. He's on our side, yo. What? Yeah, that's just what He's they want. He's on our to side. Oh, shit. I wouldn't believe him. They're, they're lying. They're probably just saying that. Because they've no. been controlled by the basilisk. Fucking on our side. Oh, my God. Controlled by the basilisk. <laughs> what did it do to you guys? I had no idea it could... <laughs> hypnotize people. Have yeah, you never got mind seen control powers? A f just, just leave the spider alone, or don't. If you kill it, it might turn into a person. Mongo, like all spiders, stir in the pot. Jeez. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna back up Mongo against this wall. Krintos, come down here. Uh, and, and fight the spider. Um, yeah. Well, he's, he's keeping Krintos between him and the spider at all times. Where's Krintos? Uh, we should really have uh, Rizal running around as a giant spider all the time. All the fucking time. <laughs> just just think about how much better our intimidation checks would be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's just not nearly as bad of a battle or tanking effective as a direwolf, but it's situational. Mm. Mm -hmm. Out of character, you guys don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rubbing my mandibles together. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. It's really emphasizing. Uh, all right. Well, Krintos, you stay there. I guess. I guess it's clear. You guys want to go?
All right, well, I'm going. I'll meet you guys in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yep. We'll go. Going to that Don't door. trust them. Neither do I. He's going to betray us. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, as long as we're all in agreement and not doing anything about it. I think he's going to be just fine. Everything's going to be just fine. Of course it will. I got Love my it. sword out. Can oh, I that fit confidence. in there? Can you fit in there? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think at half distance, I think it, it says you can technically crawl through smaller spaces. All right. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll follow, but I'll follow on the ceiling. Okay. Uh, it's. I think it's difficult terrain for you. Yeah. Yeah. What What's difficult terrain? Just half. Oh, terrain, small areas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, and when you put yourself in there, because uh, you you'll like fall in between, like hold shift when you set yourself down, like in the middle of a hallway. Here, I'm doing it for you now, but. All right, anyway. All right, guys, down here. All right, Christian Slater. Wait, is this the right room? Oh, it is. It's okay. It is the right room. They just didn't draw the art on the ground. They probably drew it on the ceiling. Oh, that is probably where it's. Yeah, that's why they didn't draw it. Okay, that's true. What the hell is that? Let me tell you about this. The walls of this chamber are inscribed with interconnected runes and marred with cracks. What is now the ceiling bears similar inscriptions that swirl inward, converging around a golden crystal disc five feet in diameter. An illusory figure appears upside down in the far corner of the room, standing on the ceiling. It appears to be the same long-faced human wizard depicted on the statues just inside the spire's entrance. It begins speaking in strange, possibly forgotten language. Anybody understand this shit? Uh, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna cast comprehend language. Oh shit. You guys have <laughs> something for this? Okay. I actually do, yeah, I do. <laughs> And in fact, when I built the character, it, is, it comes with Rune Carver, and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with this? <laughs> but here we are. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, and, and as you cast this on yourself, his, his jumbled words, yeah, well, just morphs into, behold my masterpiece. Here can illusions be made real. Shadows become substance. Create your illusion. Let it stand atop the crystal disk watch my rune chamber do its work <laughs> flickers out I translate I wonder if we put shadow slacks on that would we have I was slackers? just thinking the same fucking thing holy that fuck would give a... what the fuck <laughs> Jesus Christ let's kill the let's kill the wizard and make another slack <laughs> I don't even think we need to kill the wizard we can just try it a second time you guys are evil. Oh, oh god. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's a living shadow. That'll undo well. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, Wait, it's fucking sense. me. I'm cool. I'm awesome. Okay. But the shadow doesn't have a personality. Yeah, yeah it's my personality. It's fucking me. Okay. Let's do it. What, you're not down with me? I am. I love I'm you. I'm down with That's you, man. I'm so certain about a living shadow version. Aw, oh, come on. Shadow Slacks is awesome. He hits more than I do. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's get this oh. wizard guy squared away, and I'll stab him if we have to. Oh, yeah, All right. I, th I think there's, there's enough of us in here that I think he'll behave himself. I'm ready. He's rubbing his hands together. He's looking up at the ceiling. He's standing right under it. Oh, man. All right. I've been this excited. Oh. All right. I'm oh. manifesting my echo and bringing shadow slacks in to do any button pushing that needs to be done. Because I believe that's that's the limit of what he can do is, like, turn a doorknob and shit. Push a button. Mm. 
Excuse me. Uh, okay, so I guess it's not a button that you have to press. It's you just gotta touch me. Touch you? Yeah. All right, that's easy. So, let's see. I'll just do an unarmed strike. Okay. Wow, jeez, oh, what the heck? It's the only I, way I can make it work. I, I don't think that worked to begin with. Ow, oh, jeez. Did you have to do it that hard? Come on, I might be I, a fake boy, but I can still feel. I'm sorry, dude. It's it's all I could do. Uh, it's the least I could. That's the the least I could touch you and touch you. Okay, yeah, but. So he takes four bludgeoning damage. He takes four bludgeoning damage. Okay, <laughs> yeah, and he does not. Nothing happens. When he stepped up below the the thing, a beam kind of shot out, engulfing him. But you've punched him, and, and nothing is triggered. I bet it has to be somebody alive. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm I thinking. guess it does. All I right, swear, I was I, the one who volunteered to bring him down. I guess I'll touch him. Oh, jeez, here we go. All right, uh, sh Mr. Slacks touches him. Mr. Slack touches him. You you get a, a, a little jolt of like uh, static electricity jumps from you over towards him. The light beams down over him. Uh, you see his form start to glow. Uh, I can feel it, guys. Oh my god! Uh, and yeah, he solid. I guess he doesn't solidify any more than he has, but he's feeling stuff. Oh god! I made of real stuff. <laughs> Holy crap! He he goes to to hug who, who touched him. Slacks did. He hugs Slacks. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Holy crap. This is amazing. So it worked? You you feel different? Yeah, I feel great. What's different about you? Uh, I got a soul, I guess. How can you tell? How can anyone tell? Yeah, I don't know if I really know. I just feel full. I feel... Maybe you need to shit. Powered. That's right. <laughs> oh, that is what I'm feeling full with. Oh, crap. Oh, all right. Well, I got a... Well, sh hang on. Uh, oh, I got an idea. <laughs> okay. He uses a minor illusion to, to create toilet paper. Uh, and then he touch, and then he touches it, and it psh, the beam comes down. Zoom! Hell yeah! Hang on though. He made the toilet paper real. Yeah, he made the toilet paper real. And it's alive. It has a soul. Oh god! Uh... Imagine if toilet paper had a soul. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go down that road, guys. Yeah. Where, 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 Please. Where are my safety tools? Where are my safety yeah, tools? Yeah. No! X card! X card! <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it's not. It doesn't give it a life, but he did create. Uh, he, I mean, kind of like what the wizard was saying: create an illusion, make it become real. Yeah. So he's he steps aside and he goes to the other room. With his oh day. fuck yeah! Hey, hey, Mungo. Shadow Slacks is going right there. Yes, sir. Do you and have, and do you have Mr. Slax is going to touch him. Uh, nope, I don't have minor illusion. All right, well, give me a minute to think about that. What's going Oh, you're asking Mungo if he has minor, minor illusion? Oh, shit. Be like, so Shadow Slax is not an illusion. Shadow Slax is an object. Mm, okay. So this might not work on him because of that reason. Just but if you're looking for a reason for it not to work on him, that would be a realistic reason for it to not to work because he's not an illusion. Mm. He's uh, an object. Okay. I don't know what the words are in the module that tell you how this thing works, but mm -hmm. that's what Shadow Slack says. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it is to be an illusion, but let me, let me just see what this dice says. Huh. 
No, I won't do that to you. Uh, you know what? I will do that to you. It's it's a good okay. cliffhanger. I don't know how I'm going to get back from it, but <laughs> you... It, the Zan takes his toilet paper out of the machine, goes, steps aside, slacks, is like, oh my god, what the heck, the, the power the, uh, available to us, has Shadow Slacks stand in the middle of the room, touches Shadow Slacks, the beam comes down, covering his body, uh, it, it's hard to see, it's just this the dark shadow form inside of the beam of light, uh, but when the beam pulls away, his features are gone, and his full body falls to the floor, having turned into a, a viscous blob and that blob starts to move and that's where we'll, we'll cut off oh boy nice. okay. oh no I broke my shadow slacks <laughs> oh no alright hey man look at the bright side your new character can take bright uh, blind sense <laughs> oh gosh yeah I don't I don't intend to steal your shadow from you but for right now that's what you did by putting it into the machine it has turned into a blob and is coming after you guys and we'll deal with that in the next game okay nice fun Ooh. fun fun alright that'll teach me right. to stick my shadow where it doesn't belong See y'all in a week. <laughs> all right. See you in a week. week. Bye. I did not expect Bye, you guys yeah. to go here. That's so far. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for throwing a million things at you guys. Yeah. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night.